Hey, what's up? Chill, relax with you guys on this cozy winter day. Some beautiful ESO music in the background. This sleepy fox is drinking some caffeination. And what's on your palate today? gonna add some more channel redemption to my channel. Oh my goodness, you guys are so awesome! So usual. Let's hop into Stream Raiders. What is this? <laughs> is this a battle? But what even is this? Ah, oh, we must beat the dungeon before we can move on to Elder Scrolls. What do you guys think about that? We made it to 350! Only messing with my volume, right? Alright, I suppose I should put something down. Yeah. I can only put one in here. So, considering that it throws spears of light, this means it's going to be a team effort. Help me through these dungeons and place a unit, please. Make sure that we can beat this. I don't care what you place, just come place a unit. wake up with this because we haven't done dungeons in a little while and right I think that you will enjoy this so if you'll place units with me th these are very quick oh my goodness the coffee is so good today thank you I've been looking around for my glasses I can't find them and then I asked Riot to look around, he can't find them. But they're in this like shiny purple case that's like like glitter reflective. So I don't know how they can just disappear. It's just like 
Oh. I don't know, guys. I have no idea. So, I've taken it easy with the makeup today, because I feel like my pores are gonna thank me. And I know that if you're here, you guys heart me as much as I heart you, or at least you like the content that I put out, which I'll, I'll take both of them. Absolutely. Thank you, Sarge! So I know that you guys don't look at whether or not I'm wearing makeup, because... I'm putting timers on that stuff. Posture check. I guess posture check makes no sense to do before I stretch. These are dungeons, they're much quicker. We'll go to ESO in a little bit, we'll leave the sound in the background. But I don't want to get completely burnt out from a game that I absolutely love. So for now, we'll go ahead and make way to wake up. Then we will posture check the chair. Oh, 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 that is so much better. Thank you, Sarge. Alright, this is super cool. So these are dungeons. They're only a few minutes. We've got about one more minute to place any units. It's a lot quicker the turnaround to be able to place units. So it should be pretty cool. I mean, I like it. But I don't do it very often, and they don't always have it available. But we have these fairies that we can pick up, and I'm super excited about that. Like, I want to get a fairy. Fluttering little fairy. It's super cute. I'd show you, but it doesn't let me go to the front, so if you look at the units that you can pick up and you get like, like 10 of these. If you get 10 of the keys, you can get fairies. Pretty cool. Always take advantage of being able to unlock units if you can. Alright, this will be up a little more in my face. does the title say we made it to 350 follows? Whoa! Alright, I guess it's time to go. So with some haste down. Starting battle now. For now. Three, two, one, charge! <laughs> we got it, guys. Good job, Sarge. Hey, hey, look at the keys. Let's go. Alright, now we gotta go check a balloon selection. Help me pick out one that you think is good. Disappearing act is kind of cool. I had to make the letters bigger over here so I could read them because I can't find my glasses. And though I've been playing without my glasses lately, 
I still have to use a plus 75 with my glasses. Yeah, so music is taking me over. Ooh, sounds fun. All right, let's see. Is that better? Can you still hear it? Yes! I caught something. I don't know what it is. Hurry! Is that better? Okay, but I need a couple different perspectives because, like, sometimes the music sounds good to you where it is and all that. And it's good to have a variety of perspectives. That way I can know exactly where it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. So help me pick one out. The Spearing Act, Spiked Armor, or Enchanted Staves. No, we are not. We are playing Stream Raiders Dungeons. This is a fast-paced, quick, you don't have to place it, like, within a lot of little times. Melee units have 40% more damage. Okay, so the ally boon that you guys need to know about right now that I have is epic units have 30% more damage. So, I mean, okay. All right, if that's what you guys are down for, have you thought this out? Let's do it. Yes? All right, let's do it. All right, so you guys ready for this battle? I'm gonna need help. Okay. Let me see. a second I'm trying to do something I forget the game command to make it happen I suppose I can go this way pop it on the stream raiders for a minute All right, 
I'll punch him in the face. AOE damage in front of it. Receives a damage resistance buff while ceremonial cultists are alive. Increases insanity plus 3 to all nearby enemies every 15 seconds. And 50% bonus damage versus armor. Thulu. Nice. Um, we want these guys down as quick as possible. And if we kill them, it gets rid of insanity. So let's go ahead and look at all. You can put ranged units out if you want. Um, I'm gonna put my rogue out because it can get the chests. Guys, vibe out with this, okay? Just help me out. <laughs> oh my god, I have to wrap my blanket around me a little bit more. I'm getting a chill in here. But the stream room gets hot, so it's weird to get a little chill. Wrapping it around. Alright, this is super cool. So, Sarge, is the music and my voice sound decent together? Like, it's not overwhelming me. Is it? But you can still hear it? Riot says it's okay, but like you said, his, his audio is a bit janky. Mighty Shinobi on the battlefield. Music could still come down slightly. How's that? Is that good? Very nice. Ah, very cool. Hello, hot. Oh. Is that hat? I can't see it. Hot. Yeah. I'm set up for group gameplay in ESO now. Gonna get around to it. Can't leave anything until we finish the dungeon, so we'll go back to regular after we go through this dungeon. Like, we are dedicated to this until it's done. Guys, we got one more minute left. I like your rogue. Super cute. Look at the little baby dragon. Dragon artillery. I'm gonna have like different types of foxes as all of mine. 
the ones out with like my IU head. It's almost time for me to ombre my hair again. Put this stuff back to purple. But it is nice being able to pull it back and have it hang down. It's it's growing so much. It was like up here last year. Oh. Yeah, about right there, and now it's down here, so I like it. I should probably get it trimmed just a little bit so the ends are healthier and it can grow more. Instead of just praying out. And then go back to purple. I love that stuff. We've got a lot of robes. Bestowing Santa. Ranged? <laughs> Whoa! I'm getting used to being able to hear stream raiders in my ear again. Alright. We want to get all these things. So let's just curse this guy. Curse you! And your household. Start battle. Three, two, one. Charge! All right, you guys got the problems out of the way. We got all the treasure chests. Now to get them. We got them. We threw those down. You guys are rock stars. Did you guys get anything from that? Are you guys all getting the same amount of, like, keys? Enemy boons. Ranged unit fires. Fire rate is increased by 30%. Just remember, enemies also get boons. So, let's look over these real quick. Melee units have 50% more damage? Okay, cool. War beasts gain 80% defense to start, but lose 20% every 10 seconds. Getting a kill resets us back to 80%. That is cool. Um, we already have a 40% more damage for the melee. When ranged units hit an enemy, the enemy takes 60% more non-ranged damage for 3 seconds. That's good for good co-op right there. I think hamstring would be the way to go, but I want to hear you guys. Yeah, right? I'm going for it. That's that's two out of three here. Let's do it. Yes. Ah! Battle! What even is this? Lightning portal level one! An ethereal construct that summons titans. Ooh! It's ground. Alright, it's a support role. So, what are these things over here? A tough armored ethereal construct. Also a ground. And armored. So, you know the way to go with this is you can throw flying things. Let's see, where's my... Why, where's... I could throw a jack-in-a-box bomber out. That would help out a lot. Hit points are 71. It is ranged. It's ground and air. 30% bonus damage versus melee. And these are armors. Armored. And this counts as... Support. So maybe not. Let's see. Musketeer. Boost allied range units damage by 30%. You know what? Let me help you guys out. Throw your ranged units out. Let's get them. Throw some ranged units out front. Do this. And then... Assassins. Come on in here. And then the rest of you guys can vibe out. Hey, 
Thanks for helping out, guys. This is super cool. Having fun with this. Hello, bro. Welcome in. Thank you for placing the unit. Oh, jump left is in here. Pokey catch. It's cool, though. I like that it's fast and it goes through quickly. So we can see what we can do with this. I'm absolutely cool with this dungeon life. It's super cool to see the ally boons and enemy boons over here. Yay, Pokey Catch! Your epic units have 30% more damage. Melee units have 40% more damage. When ranged units hit an enemy, the enemy takes 50% more non-range damage for 3 seconds, which means we can do a lot of teammate stuff right over here. Right, you're taking advantage of those, that's really cool. Thank you for the war beast. Range units fire rate is increased by 30%. You have to understand they also have range unit fire rates. So we'll get this down as quick as possible. I'm probably gonna, I don't know. Okay, so I'll throw the high ground out for you guys when it's time. We'll throw it, like, right in here. Because when you pull high ground, it'll cover from here to here, so... That'll be where we place the high ground. I'm super excited about this. This is so, so cool. It kind of switches things up, and I don't switch things up as much as I want to. I realized that playing Elden Ring when we had some lag issues and ESO was really rewarding for me. I truly enjoyed it. Had I known I was going to continue on the way I was, just trying to clear out an area, I would have stayed on Elden Ring until 3 o'clock, because I stayed up until 3 o'clock playing it. Um, I'm absolutely okay with backseat driving when it comes to everything but ESO. I'm okay with helpful. I'm okay with helpful stuff in ESO also. I can take PS5 out of the list because I don't just PS5. But I think I'm having a lot of whoa okay all right done but it didn't kick everyone out this time all right so high ground let's get that high ground out here helping all of you high grounders and start battle Three, two, one, charge! Get him, guys. That's some great teamwork there. 
you guys are rock stars. This is super cool. Um, it gets harder and harder as we go, so I can't wait. All right, off to Boon Selection. I gotta get used to doing polls for this. Just to get used to it. Which buff do you guys want? Okay. I don't know, I kind of like gloves. Um, we're not sure yet, but it goes for a while. Until you die. But you can only have so many. We need a tiebreaker. <laughs> Alright, I'll go longbows, let's do it. Let's get him. There's presents. A totally innocuous pile of presents filled with goodies. <laughs> okay. And Snow Rift. A rift between worlds connecting Streamlandia to the snow dimension. Evil snow mon monsters breach through it. I am going to send my rogue out on this mission. Go ahead, guys. That's two ranged things, so um, we do need to do something when we have the opportunity for rogues because they are very powerful beings. Epic Mighty Shinobi on the battlefield. I'm 
excited about this. Ugh. I like ninja stabs. That's pretty good stuff right there, yeah? I love their teleport thing. Warlord! Yay! Hot, thank you! These are far quicker rounds, so you really gotta play something as soon as possible. Almost out of coffee. Not yet, but. Mm -hmm. We got one sub this week. That's really cool. I'm like super excited about that. We finished our goal to 350 follows. I'm super excited about that. Hi! <laughs> Lighting this game. <laughs> What's up, Damon? Thank you! It's super exciting! I'm like really happy for that. We're going for 400 now, baby step, so we've got six subscribers this month. I'm very happy about that. That's super cool too. Ah! Uh... <laughs> I can't! Better? Uh, if I keep actually streaming, Damon. <laughs> I'm getting better about it. I'm back again. I just had to change my hours. <laughs> I can't win with you guys. No, my stream room gets really hot in here, so I'm sorry you guys are just gonna have to deal with skin. I have skin. I have an epidermis. It's gonna show. I do keep, like, the things Twitch doesn't want seen covered up, so... There's that. I know, right? I can't change my skin, though change skins and dungeon layouts and stuff but no hi para welcome in i'm gonna have to make that not a wall of text okay Okay, well, you enjoy that. I remember rolling cigarettes. There's a skin category? What? I needed to take a break from my main game. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta wear a bathing suit though, so it's the same thing. Ten seconds left! So I'm taking a little bit of break from my main game for just a second to run through this. Whoa! Okay. <sighs> okay, guys. Everything's everywhere. We've got a lot of little guys. Healing field? Melee damage. 
stronghold armored we don't have a lot of armored guys in here hey i'll throw haste on you guys three two one charge Oh, you guys are rock stars. You got this. You got this. Oh, the little ones. Get them. They're overtaking me. Get them. Get them. Okay. We did it. Whew. Things are only going to get harder from here. I don't know, this is my first time running dungeons in a very long time, so, um, I almost got overwhelmed with them, but let's do this. I'm only on level 5. Uh, what's... Aw, oh, chaos, congratulations! Yeah, so you guys can handle me wearing tank tops. Just how it's gonna be. The room is hot. I have a lot of tank tops for just that. Just my legs get cold in here. That's it. All right. I mean, it doesn't like a lot- it doesn't like certain things being, like... Like, nudes and stuff. Which is okay. Sixty seven percent over thirty three percent. Looks like we're doing follow up. This is a boss battle. All right, all right, all right. We'll try it. I'm nervous about these boss battles. Oh, earth crystal. Okay, so what's up with these guys? Oh, boulder. Weak to ice? So you stop doing poles? But ice is all the way over there. Oh, we've got an ice up here. Okay, so... Allied units in range for... You guys, so you know? I'm taking my warrior out. Place over here. around this thing. 
Get that ice buff. Well, they're going to be heading straight to us, right? Like, that's what I've seen before in dungeons. So are you saying that I should have a couple people over here just to Earth, just to be safe? Because Earth seems... Well, you're gonna head towards this way, so you're not gonna go over into this earth crystal area, like... It's gonna go up this way, and the range is like this. That's why I assume that if you put things here, and they're heading this way... It's not gonna hit that range. They're not gonna hit this. And this is just completely out of the way. I mean, that's just... I mean, this is true. One would have to walk around and stuff. But they'd still walk around that without touching it, so I don't see them hitting ice. Really. I guess I'll have to find out. I think these could be walls. So I suppose Earth could happen. Oh, uh, somebody can throw a flying unit right here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's have somebody do a flying unit. <clears throat> Here, somebody put a flying unit in. It'll just avoid all that. Anelia, thank you! Haru, it's good to see you in here again! Familiar faces popping up in here makes me so happy. So I'm having some problems with my audio right now and things are running a little bit slow. I really think it's the weather that's changing in the area and uh, the pressure that's in the area that's causing things to kind of stall out. Because I just put a lot more, well, we just put a lot more memory into my computer. So I'm not playing any music right now. You guys can handle the ESO music. I think that'll work out right now because we are going in the premise to where we're going next after this dungeon, but yes. I feel that. Oh, it will. It will. Um, one step at a time, right? But, thank you for popping in, Damien. It's always a pleasure to have you around. Glad to see you in. I can think so. I can I can feel like it is. And Warlord and 
<laughs> and Sarge like you around, so I mean, you're part of the crew, as far as I see it. Alright, I'm just cursing these guys. Works better. <laughs> Toxic hype. <laughs> Starting battle, guys. Three, two, one, charge! Yeah, that's what I thought. I love that there's a link in here. Woo! <laughs> Victory! All right, off to Boon Selection. <laughs> Necromancer stuff is cool. Legendary units gain 20% attack speed, 20% damage in one range. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty good. Melee units have 50% more damage. We have two melee units. I am going to say with 40% and um, them getting an extra hit, I would not go for that. Personally. Awesome. Yeah, I love Necro. Ooh! You guys are all about this legendary virtue. Alright, let's do it! Alright, let's check Persephone out. All units take 50% more damage every 60 seconds. This increases by an additional 50%, up to 200% total. When a unit gets a kill, it heals 30 health. When a unit dies, a skeleton warrior is summoned in its place. Half human, half fish, the siren charms units to targeting it over the target targeting it over the targets. Alright, so I'm gonna say make sure that these sirens get ranged. I'm gonna throw out my range right here to work on that. Manticore, beastly chimera that shoots a poisonous projectile. 80% defense versus ranged units. Okay, yeah, but if you put a range unit there, then it's gonna get that, then yeah. Enemy boons. Epic units deal 50% more damage. All right, heroic stand, melee units have 20% more defense. All right, so this being said, we can drop out some ranged. Uh, 
That should be enough for that over there. Yes, please. Flag bearers are also very welcome. You guys can use whatever you want after that. Just make sure there's one range there. Because you're not going to kill Persephone. That's not the goal. Just wiping these out. Alright, cool. Oh, fair tech was out. I didn't even see. I need to move this up some. Why is the coffee always gone? So how are you guys liking this? You having fun? I kind of like it. I'm totally getting a fairy as soon as I can. It's great to have another little flying support unit. Fairies are so awesome. Uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do, too. You guys should get fairies, too. They're so cool. It's great to unlock things. Trying to get everything moved up as strong as possible, too. Cool. Alright, I'm throwing haste on you guys. Starting battle. Three, two, one, charge! Alright, you're down. You're down. We did it, guys! Uh -huh. Great reward. Off to move selection. Very cool.
starting full now. Which one of these is good? I mean, all units deal 5% damage. Cool. Dagger assassin units, movement speed and attack speed is increased by 10%. Cool. Melee units have 10% more defense. Eh. That's okay. Damage up it is. 5% more damage for everyone. Heroic stand and mithril fuse. Busters have 40% more damage. Oh, watch out for their busters. Let's do this. Brown Sailor. Shielded. Damage resistance versus ranged. Tentacle Parasite. Each unit attacked by it will spawn a tentacle when killed. Grants nearby units 50% damage resistance. Okay, guys. You see. I think melee would be great for this. But... Do keep in mind that we have to open this, so um, we are going to need a rogue. I'll throw my shinobi out here. And let's see. Two melees. <laughs> Two assassins. Ranged. Oops. My melee's out. Ah. Support. I don't need that many ranged in here. Doom armored can come in last. Make sure it's cleared out. Yeah. Yeah, no, I feel you. So we'll add another, put more melees in here. I like that better. Thanks for helping out. That is so cute.
all of my stuff is very slow. I'm gonna have to refresh my computer. Still need a healer for tomorrow's trial and for DPS. Also, hey, Mod. <laughs> hey, Riot Mod. Oh, six seconds. All right. Hmm. No, oh, I'm still throwing haste on you guys. No. I'm going to curse him. Starting battle now. Three, two, one, charge! <laughs> it's so fun every time. We got this. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Poison arrows? Cover. Or gift of regeneration. Archer's attacks and debuffs enemies, dealing 10 damage every 5 seconds for me. Paladins grant one nearby non-armored unit 60% defense and 10% max defense. Healers grant an indefinite region to nearby allies on match start, which heals 10 every 4 seconds. Oh. We're gonna need another two votes in? No? One vote? No? Mm. Someone else, vote! It's almost over. Okay. Gonna need a tiebreaker. <laughs>
starting pole. Hey guys, I need a tiebreaker on this one, so if you guys will jump into this. These two ended up. Tying up. From two votes last time. We're only seeing one vote this time. It's almost over. We see any more votes in here? Hmm. Hmm. All right, chat. Looks like Poison Arrows is about to win. Let's do it. Boss battle. What do, what, what do we have? Defense is up. 15% more damage and have 15% more attack speed. And assassin's move and attack speed is increased by 30%. Alright. Watch out for those assassins. Hail, the goddess of death and destiny, despite her monstrous appearance, she acts as the warden of the underworld, so the drower can't bring harm to Midgardia. Reign of mortality, all units receive 30% more damage. Enemies desecrate this statue by touching it. Only player units receive extra damage from the reign of this desecrated. Okay, so keep them off of this. You want to protect this. Our objective is to get these down. These are fiery. Burn attack. Okay, spontaneous combustion. Bonus damage versus armor. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use a fire balloon buster right here. Against that. Ranged attack, steal area damage. Reignite the dead. Um, Okay, cool. You guys... Get those down. Can use some ranged in here. Um... Busters would be good against them. barbarians in here wouldn't hurt. Melee of any type, really. For some support. Flag bearer near yours. Damage resistance versus range, so let's throw some melee in here too. Armored unit if you can.
I think it's a good layout. I think that you guys are rock stars. I do see this one down here. It's trying to be all. The armored is going to help for right here, the last ones. We don't want to put too many armored up here because they're all resistance against armor. Um, be careful of this one. The AoE damage is not going to be cool. Also, that's not good. Dead fire Jotun from their corpses. Like, we don't want this to come up again. I'm gonna need some help with this because I do have a fire balloon buster. But that knows exactly what it's going to. It's gonna help take a little bit of So essentially, instead of it doing 254 damage, it's doing 127 damage. That's still really good, because this thing only has 54 hit points. I'll take that 50% hit. I'm going to throw a curse on this. Hopefully it'll hit both of these. But this will be our next target. It might res this again. But this is going to be on you guys because I'm sacrificing myself. Can't see... So this curse is going to hit those. Start battle now. Three, two, one, charge! I did not get to blow up. You guys are cool. All right. Moon selection. Master Fletcher, Expertise Assassin, and Wildfire. I'm gonna let you guys just vote in chat without a poll going up. Wave hi. Hi. Open the light. Hi. Oh, hi, Teddy. Look, it's Sarge right there. It's Uncle Sarge right there. Sarge is pretty much your uncle. Hey, come here. He said something to you. He said hi, y'all. Sarge. Now she's running off. <laughs> Don't close it all the way. What? <laughs> all 
All right, let's do two then. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Battle! <laughs> Got a lot of boons. They're at the point where they have three boons. They, um, they will collect more boons as time goes on, so keep that in mind. Um, fog machine. <laughs> machine of vicious fluid, which releases gas into the surrounding air. Units nearby the machine have their movement speed slowed. Destroying the fog machine slows all enemy mutants on the battlefield. 40% increases the damage they take by 40%. Alright, so go after the fog machine first. Alright, I am going to pull my gladiator out for this fog machine. Okay, so this is a whole plague thing with a whole bunch of AoEs and poisons and stuff like that. So you guys are going to take poison damage. Um, whoever wants to deal with this can deal with this. You guys can melee it down real quick. You guys can also assassin it down. We do need some support in there. You guys will be catching up to us. I'm gonna give some support over here, like I um, asked for a flag bearer over here. Harry. You guys are so cool. Um, it's also a support unit, so we need to take this down if supporting that. So what's going to also help is taking assassins since they have pretty high movement speed and throwing them up front. Other than that, you guys do what you want. I sound like I know what I'm doing. Kind of. Okay, hold on a second. Wait, wait. Coffee has arrived.
Okay, so congratulations to Rune. I know you're not in here right now, but congratulations on getting the skin that you were looking for. That is so awesome. Right, super awesome. I'm here. Gladiator is killing. Killing field on this. Start battle. Three, two, one. Charge! Oh. That was rough. Hey, we got this! Huzzah! Alright. Moon selection again. Sanctified gauntlets, armored units gain 25% more healing, melee units have 25% more damage, all units gain 5% more attack speed. I think attack speed, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so these things pop out things. You guys, from my knowledge on these, you can get them really fast with um, assassins. So I'm just going to recommend that you guys use assassins. Ranged are okay, but they're a little not as strong. Melee are okay, but you're going to want them to be fast if you use them. Just to give everyone love, we'll sprinkle in a couple armored in there. Thanks for helping out, guys. Do, do, do. We're at level 11, that's good.
this is really hard to hold my coffee right now, so I guess I'll have to hydrate. I have come to the conclusion that I am not finishing all of my water during a seven hour stream. So I'm going to work on that. That also means I'm going to be taking a bit more bathroom breaks. <laughs> I am not in a group, so I don't have to wear this around my neck, which is pretty cool. When we get over to... Yeah, so eventually I'm going to be doing Ritz on that. Once I'm done with Ritz, I'm going to have to run a whole bunch of maps and stuff like that. Though I normally do those on Mondays to clear out inventory. I don't have enough to do my writ, so I might have to hunt down all my treasure maps first. It's a lot, but <laughs> they gotta get done, so we're gonna get them done and hopefully get some upgrade mats while we're at it, because if we get upgrade mats, then we can do a couple more, um, we can do a couple more master writs. If that's the case, then we'll be able to move forward with putting guild tables in the guild hall so that's super exciting and great news thank you guys for supporting even though i'm not in a position right now to be able to do giveaways just yet um we are working on building the guild which is taking a lot of resources once we're done building resources and that we will be doing more giveaways um because i'm playing on a few different games now I will consider what kind of giveaways that I'm going to offer to chat as that becomes more possible. Again, that won't really be happening until the guild hall is complete, so it may take a little bit of time. Um, thank you guys for popping in with me and making this possible. We are trying to get to at least 20 viewers in chat at one time and at least 15 people running dungeons with me so if i can make a little bit of a presence known with stream raiders before i start going and dedicate a certain portion of my day to being stream raiders and then pop over to eso afterwards then that definitely will help i'm gonna definitely be there for the day roll because if i can do my day roll ritz after it hits 12 o'clock then that makes it a lot easier than I don't have to scramble to try to do it in the morning before I even go live um, or as the first thing because people can get bored with that after a while. So we're going to try not to do that. I don't want you guys bored. I want you guys having fun. We're going to go ahead and start this battle now. You guys, it's great to see so many people in here starting. Three, two, one. Charge! Look at that, you guys have all the fairy buffs. We did it! See, this isn't so bad. Collecting and continue. This is getting a lot of keys, so super cool. Let's go over and pick another boon. Momentum! Grounded Rogue's damage increases by 20% every 4 seconds, max of 200%. Master Necromancy, all units spawn a Skeleton Warrior on death, Captain and Epic units spawn one more. Explosive Assassin, units explode with 1 increased area of effect damage and deals 50% more damage. Which one do you think, guys? I'm kind of in between two and three. Why one? Just wondering, but why? No, explosive assassin units does not mean dying. Um, there's assassins that uh, throw explosives 
like your bombers? No, bursters do, but bombers don't. That doesn't require dying. Oh, so it's the- okay. Hmm. Alright, we'll go momentum then. Alright, I'm going to place a unit, and then I am going to go to the bathroom. Okay, with this. Ground and air. It's a ranged unit. Oh, it's an artillery. Alright, we're gonna need... This is a melee. 384, alright. Alright, so you guys know we need a... I'm gonna throw my Orc Slayer down here. We need a, um... We need assassins for these. So throw some assassins out here so they can get over there. Alright, um... Artillery would help. And some support units to keep everyone alive. Alright, place anything anywhere else you want to go. Uh, thanks for helping out. I gotta go.
Oh, see, I can't walk away for long. These things are over with so quick. Alright. Throwing haste on you guys. Three, two, one, charge! Math queen, oh wait, that's cool. Oh, you guys got this. You guys got all of this. You like my Girl Scout cookie blanket? It's cute, isn't it? It's so great. Love it. <sighs> Cutest little fairies! <laughs> selection. Uh, when healers heal a unit, that unit gains 50% more healing for 6 seconds. Stacks up to 4 times. Melee units have 50% more damage, and the first arrow fi fired by an archery will kill its target instantly. What do you guys think? I don't know, I think OP. Betty Bow is OP. Especially if we have a lot of people throw down archers. Alright, I'm I'm going with three. <laughs> Revealed over time. All right. Hey guys, I don't know what we're in for. Hi. Hi, how are you, Ninetail? Yeah, I changed some of the camera settings and stuff like that and allowed it to come through. Now I don't just look like a white blob and I've got changing lights now in the background and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. I I think I think it looks more professional. Thank you for noticing. Oh, that's been here for a while. Check it out. If I change the colors, look, my phone, right? If I change the colors in the background, you can see how it changes that too. So I'm probably going to add that as a channel command thing. Yeah. Um. My, my friend Damon, who plays a lot of stream raiders, was like, whoa, turn the lights on when I had the lights for my stream. And then he's like, turn it off. He's like, that's two different. And he's like, that's two different backdrops. And I'm like, no, it's not. It's the same one. But I saw what he meant. It's like the accentuation based on the light and dark um, makes it completely different. So why not just play with that? So now I've got lighting that I can change via my phone. And it's pretty cool. Um, I actually, for Riot, ended up getting him a wolf backdrop for his. That's like red, black, and white, and it looks super cool, but he hasn't been streaming lately, so you won't be able to see that. Unless he gets back on it. Um, but yeah, no, it's a lot of fun stuff. And I think... My transitions look a lot more smooth, like... I don't know if that's going to my motif list or not. It is not! 
me see. Yes, I am a nerd. I have an ESO motif list. Okay. But I like the wavy flow. It fits me. It's very... It's fun. So I've got it set up so you can see as I check off the ESO motifs. Transition's smooth. It doesn't make a lot of loud noises in you guys' ears now. So I'm sorry about that. I had no idea. I wasn't listening to my own stream. I should have known better. Um, and PS5. So it's grown a lot. It's grown a lot. Um, but right now we're running Stream Raiders because I'm not getting out of Stream Raiders until I, you know, we can't make it through a dungeon. So we're doing Stream Raiders and we hit 350 followers! <laughs> I'm super happy over that. How are you? Thank you for the shout out, my lord. <laughs> so exciting. I'm having fun and I pop in and watch you guys. I lurk a lot. I lurk a lot um, because I've moved more to nights being nocturnal and there's a lot of people who need me for military stuff during daytime hours and also Girl Scouts and we're about to hit cookie season. It's not fair. It's absolutely not fair for me to be streaming during daytime. What? Because you like streaming. You want to stream. And you run events as co-lead for our guild. So, I mean, there is absolutely no reason to not call you out. Plus, I got you a gift and you don't show it off. <laughs> oh! Um, we just had a fundraiser for um, Save a Fox Foundation, and we were able to raise a hundred dollars for that. It's my first successful fundraiser. I have one too. And so, Riot ended up getting both me and Save a Fox over here a Laughing Finnegan Fox. And this is his actual laugh. We we met him in person and he actually laughs like this. They got it recorded and put it in here. Kind of like one of the build -a bears but it's an actual Finnegan. Um, you can't see it right now and I don't want to twist around my camera and have to reset it. But I'll show you guys later. We're also supporting by getting calendars every year. Start! <laughs> There's a little girl in this room right now. Alright, so, um, yeah, so we're doing a lot of fundraiser stuff. Uh, I started one on my Instagram, I'm, I gotta check to see if it works. Another $100 fundraiser for Save a Fox Foundation, so if you guys are into that, then go check out my Insta. Wait, that's a perfect pose. No! Take a picture, everyone. T take a picture. Take a picture. Okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that's good. All right, it's battle starting time. I'm gonna throw some haste on everyone because I don't know what we're getting into and everything's so spread out. I think this would do so good. All right, I'm on everyone. Starting battle. Three, two, two one. one. Charge! Charge! What? Uh, mm -mm, not this time. No! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it felt like I hit you. Not slapped. You did. You slapped me, but you slapped this tough part of my hand right there, and it smacked so hard it, it stung. It didn't hurt. Congratulations, everyone. We won. <laughs> So I keep Finnegan hanging out with me because it makes me very happy. Um, and it's for a good cause. It does this too. Uh. <laughs> so you can see Get we- Get the we've... Finnegan Fox plushie. 
If you want to get one, you can get one at saveafox.org. That's where you can order them from. Um, if you don't want to donate directly, if you do decide you want to donate with them and you don't want to donate directly through funds, they do have on there an Amazon.com wish list with items for um, food and other things they need to take care of their animals. Uh, they have lots of foxes there. And they have one coyote. They rescue minks as well. And they do look to... They do look to adopt their foxes out to highly vetted homes. So if you guys are interested, you can check out savefox.org and you can check out if you're in one of the 10 states in which you can raise a fox and maybe open up some room so they can save more foxes. If you guys want to know about anything like that, you can always DM me or talk to Michaela at savefox.org. And that would be super cool. I'm gonna go back over to Boone Selection. Please don't pass up my. I work really hard. No, it's yeah. Happy Fox. Happy Fox. Happy Fox. <laughs> Why's your hair wet? What? Do we have to wash your hair again? I mean, they have a fox. They they rescued a. I mean, a coyote. They rescued a fox coyote. He looks well fed. This is a great way. This when I showed this, then I had. <laughs> then I had somebody drop off a ninety-five dollar donation. Like, we had a wolf come in here and drop off a $95 donation and finish off our donation. So I'm super, super excited about that. And very, very happy about that. And... I'm going to continue to help saving foxes. Um, another thing that's starting to rescue fur farms, as well as other animals that need to be adopted out, is the Humane Society of the United States. We talked to them in depth at TwitchCon, and one of the fundraisers I will be running is... Okay, one of the fundraisers I will be running is... for... Um, I, I just blanked. Oh, I just said it too. Uh, Humane Society of the United States. I do have one of their shirts from there, a few pins and stuff like that, so... I don't know, we might do a few giveaways when we do that too, so... Just to let you guys know, there's a lot of little growth going on. And let's get to this battle! Looks like an orc. We might have some orc problems. Alright, we need an assassin for these. Sorry. Little shapeshifters. They have damage resistance while moving. It seems like vampires. I don't know. Damage and movement speed increases by 50% for 7 seconds after a kill. Now let's go compare to vampires real quick. Armored. No. Yeah. Attacks heal nearby vampires for 10 HP. Okay. Flying armored unit that lands when attacks its foes. Each unit defeated heals the vampire for 15% of its HP. So if we were to do something and throw out, say, a few vampires and a couple assassins, we would probably do pretty good. Because these chests are generally open best by assassins. So I'm going to throw a vampire out. deal with these 
and I will ask that somebody throws a vampire out to hang out with me. Maybe a couple vampires around me. But we don't want range on these guys, unless you're like, range is awesome. Or unless we have a lot of people throwing stuff in. We can take armor to armor and armor to melee. So we'll throw out some armor here and then we'll throw out some melee here. I don't see the blobs. <laughs> Oh, these blobs. Yeah, no, I feel that. But for front row, armor and melee will help with that. You can throw a couple assassins in here. Support is always welcome. Spread them out pretty well. And we can have a support roll over here. Maybe two. That'll take care of these guys. A little seafarer over here. Bonus damage versus armor. I yeah, know I feel that, but we have a few other people placing units too, so. That's fair enough, and your little Santa is. has a decent range, so that works out pretty well. Anyway, he threw a vampire up there. Yeah, no, that's good. Okay, so each unit defeated heals the vampire for 15% of HP. And milestone ability means attacks heal nearby vampires for 3 HP. So you have... Like, they're good healing each other, and you can stack the healing with other ones. So I, I, like, I like vampire running. But then again, we still need an assassin. Or we have some assassins here, we need an assassin to open these treasure chests generally. Maybe not in here, but generally in the regular game, it needs an assassin to open them. <laughs> They're tentacle chests though. Nine-tailed fox coming in with the flying assassin. Awesome! Thank you! Math Queen, thank you for hanging out with us for so long. I absolutely appreciate that. Sarge, you are a rock star. I know you can only place three units during these things, but this has been real fun to be able to play. I'm glad that we've had so many consistent people rocking out in here with us. And Riot, thank you so much for placing units. What you don't know is he's secretly building his house in ESO right now. So that's pretty cool. ESO music in the background. Once we're done with the dungeon, we'll be going over there. We've got a few things to do, including story mode today, because I haven't done story mode. And I miss it. Right, I'm gonna curse these guys down here, just to make life a little bit easier. <laughs> Three! 
charge! I love these fairies. I can't wait to get a fairy. <laughs> now I'm getting redeemed. <laughs> You're just trying to get back at me. <laughs> Set up a biscuit. Boon selection. Guys, there's not too many people right here who are voting on these things, so I'm let you letting you say what you want. You guys can just put in one, two, four, three in chat. Oh, I'm so sorry. I cursed all of them down there to make life a lot easier for you, too. Sky Demons, Cloaking Field, or Master Necromancy? Hey, posture check can't move this. Mm. Anybody else have any say? Sorry, just having all the fun over here. I like that. Oh. Do it. Boss battle. Jerry. Hit points four hundred damage. <laughs> I'm going to have to shorten that. Damage. 30. Grounded air. This is a ranged unit. Okay. So there's mini Jerry's. And range. This Jerry has to meditate to become stronger. This Jerry is vulnerable during this time. some armored units over here. Armored units over here. Armored units over here. And we can throw some assassins in to have some fun with them. These are gonna have to come around this way anyway, so they'll probably take out those. Assassins can shank. Shank that. Killers are welcome. Oh! Pokey catch! I think I like that. Black bear. Yeah, that's why it's like mostly tanks. Okay. Can switch that out for ranged. I'm down for that. Let's let's just rock out with that. If you don't have those things, you can throw in whatever you want.
Thank you for helping out. You guys are rock stars. Good job, Sarge. You got it. Wait, all? My motif list is getting so much better. I'm super happy about this. Like, look at this. These are the ones we have left to get. I know it seems like a lot, but we're working on it. I only need 585 and I've gotten... Eight hundred and fifteen done, so that's super cool. Motif hunting, these are all the ones that are completed. So yes, I have my charts too. I like these, they keep me getting things done and help me direct exactly what I'm gonna do. Gotta keep the guild hall growing. See, it's ready. Ready for me to play. But it's gonna stay right there because I love the music. Well, whole bees. Love it. All right, one minute left. Get your units in. Keep the fairy alive. Thank you so much for adding the fairy in. Rin of House Black, nice. Twenty seconds, guys. We're going to throw a stronghold right here. Starting battle. Three, two, one, charge! No, Math Queen, all. Oh. Jerry's down! Jerry's down! We got him! Victory! Good job, guys. Boon selection. Furious summoner, volley tactics, or common specialists. I don't know, common specialist seems like it would be useful because it goes to all your basic units, like the ones you start with. Thank you for the follow, Ren of House Black! Woo! Yay! Welcome in, welcome in. Make yourself comfortable. I have a... Um, I'm running stream writers almost all the time. I main ESO. I've been starting to build into... Elden Ring as well. Um, you are definitely welcome, and definitely welcome to place units at any point in time. It's great to have you along with us. 
in our little family. Free. All right, let's do it. Come in special. I agree. I agree. I totally went three with this in my head. All right, let's get this battle done. Ooh, this is creepy. Hunter Tosser? Cyber Slimes. Support roll. Metalhead. <laughs> An orc held in cyber suspension. Follows commands given to it by a mysterious entity. Zombie orcs. Also ground units. Cyber slime. Melee. Yep, that's another metal head. Let's see if there's anything I can't see over here. Okay, so they're all over the place. I'm gonna place a flying unit. Actually, I think range. Nothing is having a problem with range. Age, okay. Well, I'm going range too. I'm gonna pull out my toy archer for this. Yes! 12 whole bees, thank you so much for the epic artillery. chaos with the range if somebody wants to throw in some support throw that in over here just make sure it doesn't die flag bearer on you we do have a lot of people surrounding us right now so I would definitely also Put a couple armored units. Not there. Okay. And some melee. Chill behind them. Hold the fort down. That should be good. I don't want to send your assassins to die, so... We'll see how this works out, right? We've got two minutes until we can run it. I'm so proud of how far we've gotten with level 16. This is the farthest I've gotten. Close the door behind you. Okay. Okay. Try to 
very cool. So does anybody have any really cool holiday events coming up? Yeah, Christmas right around the corner or Yule just passed. Anybody traveling? Has any plans? Thank you, Math Queen, for the epic Freya century. You know how I feel about that. I wish I could fix it for you. Pain is a part of life, though. Be stronger in other ways. Alright, guys. I would like to... Throw high ground down for everyone. So it'll get better once it's not cold anymore, huh? Three, two, one, charge! Well, stay right there, let them charge. Get them, guys. Don't let them get you. You gotta get them done. Protect everything. Don't die. All right. All right. Hey, great, guys. I was worried for a minute, but you came out on top. We didn't lose anyone. Bone selection. Heavy blades. Armored units deal 30% more damage. Speed up. All units move 5% faster. And armor up. All units have 5% more defense. Oh my god. That's are cool. Sorry. If you don't want ads, you can also subscribe. That is a thing. If you don't want to subscribe, then thank you for supporting our ads. Okay, copy. In order for us to continue to do our Twitch thing. It's the nature of the beast. And they changed ads now, so they're happening. We have a little less control over how the ads hit you guys. That's a little bit different, but I mean, it's not bad. It just makes it a little more universal for everyone. Oh, oh, I want that. Pokey catch. Alright, I'll do it. Both speed up and armor up were good ones. Bag. Give me a bag of treats if you can secure a victory with them in hand. Villager. Protect them or they will turn into monsters. First steam berry villager that hands out sweet treats. Protect them or they will turn into monsters. Defense, speed, suicide, explode effect, damage, and attack speed. So we gotta protect all these things from the big bad monsters. Do I need an AoE thing? Yay, 
Irfan. I can protect more this way. Thank you for the epic berserker. Thank you for the epic tank. Two minutes left to place your units. I'm surprised that I've been doing this for so long. You guys just rock, though. Like, we are dedicated to this dungeon. how far we get with this. I mean, we're at level 17. I hear all these units being placed. They're super making me excited. Alright, I'm gonna charge one of these things. Hey, Warlord. Raya, it might be time to get her ready for bed. Mm hmm. She's got to take her medicine, brush her teeth. It's bedtime for her. You got to stay up an hour later. Thank you guys so much for all the help. Such a brilliant job. Ray! 
the trash panda. Oh, trash panda. Rid of House Black, Mad Queen, and Warlord of Chaos. Alright, um. Barbarian, Berserker, Melee, Carrion. Armor killing field just melee, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna throw this out here and start our battle. Three, two, one, charge! Goodness. You guys can do this. No. It's candies. All right, you got the candies. All right. Oh, so many deaths. Oh. Okay. Boon selection time. Alright, Armor Break, Ranger Quivers, and Disappearing Act. Kind of like Armor Break because melee units, or is it... I also like range quivers. Disappearing act is good too. I don't know, this one's tough. Yeah, that one I guess means you're not very confident on it either. So many decisions. So many decisions. I mean, I feel that with the range unit thing. And we did get kind of hit pretty hard, so... But we could kill some of their defense, too. And it looks like they've got a whole bunch of defense. So let's get rid of some of their defense. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got an awkward boss battle thing going on right now on level 18. I don't know how many levels there are. Can't scroll past 26, so let's see. Oh goodness. Giant noble. Round and air. Evil giant noble from the Archduke's court. 50% bonus damage versus melee. And... I'm looking real quick. 50% uh, bonus damage versus armored. These guys. Round and air. Their support rolls. Ground and air support rolls. Okay, um, I would say something ranged. Definitely epic ranged with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my artillery out. I wanna take those support rolls down. Actually, I'm gonna throw an assassin out. Alright. Hold on, kiddo. Trying to get this assassin over here. 
Yeah, um, you guys, we we need fast things and distance things. Assassins can go up front. Wait, no. Assassins can go up front. Range, try to stay back some so you can stay alive. Try to stay back some. Our support units stay back here. We do not want you support units to die. We need you going forward. Yeah. Go ahead and, um, yeah. It's, uh, we have ground, so if you have something flying, that might help as long as these giant nobles don't get it. Alright guys, I have to put my kiddo to bed. I will be right back. Um, Sarge, can you help Rin? I'll be right back, guys. Totally overkill. Alright guys, I will be back in a minute still, but I'm coming over here because I'm pretty sure that the phase is coming up. Um, I still have to tuck her in, but she's gotta get ready more. It's a false alarm. False alarm. Please don't give me any kind of redeems right now, because I will wait until I come back for it. I mean, you can throw them out there, but I'm not doing anything until she's in bed. Because there's no point I have to get more comfortable and stuff like that all over again. So. Alright, battle ready? We're gonna go ahead and curse these guys. I wish my curse was larger.
but we'll try to help out with that. Starting battle, good luck, guys. Three, two, one, charge! Okay. We can do this, guys. I know it looks pretty grim. We can do this. They're cursed already. Uh... Okay, thank you, everyone. You guys held that up pretty big. Alright, boom selection. Bring in the boom selection in. Expertise Armored, Splash Fire, or Expertise Support? Yeah, you can go in there once you start the Discord and actually exclamation Pokedaily, and you can get Pokeballs. You can also get them from being active in chat. I think it's like every 15 minutes or something like that you get... You get... Uh, Poke cash, poke coins, whatever you want to call it. Hey, Georgie! <laughs> What's up? Oh, I love it! I love it, that's so cute! Um, we're trying to battle right now, we're trying to do these these dungeons, and the last one was pretty grim. We could use your help if you want to come on in. Also, we made 350 followers! <laughs> so, I'm super excited about that, and we're gonna keep on going. Um, exclamation battle. We'll tell you what to do. Or exclamation SR. No, it's okay. It's okay, Sarge. Thank you for coming in. Here. Just follow that link right there, and that'll get you started with being able to place units. You'll start with a few small units, and you can level them up by getting scrolls and stuff as you go. But once you dedicate yourself into an engine... Uh, have a good night, Sarge. Thank you for being here. Um, once you get yourself set up, then you can just join in. Once one of your things dies, in only in dungeon mode, you can't use that one for the remaining part of the dungeon. It will come back alive, don't worry. Um, yeah, uh, on normal gameplay, when we're going through the regular, the regular maps and stuff like that, they have timers on when you can use them again, so it's super cool. The more you play, the more you get keys here. But on the other map, you get coins, and those coins you can use for scrolls. The scrolls allow you to level up your thing, so it's good for you to kind of do both. Because dungeons only pop up once in a while, but the maps are- the- the, um, campaigns are around for, like, all the time. So, yeah, just get yourself started. Follow that link, and you're good to go. Okay, armored units reduce the attack speed and damage of nearby enemies. Every third attack from a ranged unit does an extra AoE hit. Support units get 30% attack speed. I'm gonna do splash fire. Because it's starting to get to, like, near the end. Of us being able to go through the battles and stuff like that. Unless we get a lot more people coming in. Ooh, snow trolls. Long range unit that lobs snowballs packed with a goblin surprise. Oh, we have a lot of these. Alright, let's see what else we have here. 
frozen dino. Oh no, a prehistoric dinosaur that was frozen in ice many years ago. After 30 seconds, the dino will become free to rampage again. Hit points 200. All right, damage zero, targets ground. All right, so I'm gonna throw out my flying rope. To try to go after those dinos. These guys can get yeah, ground and air. 32. If you guys want to play this, you can throw some tanks out here to kind of protect on everything. Um, melee. Just melee these guys down. Ranged. I don't like ranged being alone. I'm gonna pull that off. Stick some ranged over there. Support, please. Yes, please. These things are getting rough. Our support, stay in the back. You can catch up if you want, but you're gonna stay back there. Um, yeah, you guys are all good. You can do whatever you really want, but this is my theory on what will work, and I'm learning with you guys. Um, I'm gonna go tuck my kid into bed. It does sound like she's in bed right now. While you're placing units, I should be back before the battle is ready to go. Thank you guys. Mad love. Okay, hopefully we get more units in here. If you guys can place your units, please do so. Got four people in here. Hi, guys. I know it's a little crazy, and we are getting to the really difficult dungeon levels. So this is normally when they have to have, like, larger groups to get through. So you guys are doing really, really awesome on what you guys are doing right now. Um, if anybody knows anybody to pull in some more support, if we want to keep this going through the dungeon levels, then that would be super, super cool, too. All the help that you guys are giving is mad awesome, and I believe in everyone. Georgie, you're in! You got it! Hey, 
you did it! Thank you! Thank you! This is fun, and a lot of streamers do have, um, they do have stream raiders on, so that's something, it's like a little interactive side game, so you guys can play games with me. Um, that's actually what pushed me to go for affiliate, is to be able to play interactive games with you guys. So, when that happened, I was super happy, and I play them during almost every single one of my streams. Please feel free to come on in anytime. Um, you'll be able to level your tunes pretty good. And if you ever want help on how to, how to figure it out, please feel free to ask in chat or anybody else's chat who runs Stream Raiders too. Alright, let's do this, guys. I am... Centurion... Vampire... You know what? I'm gonna curse them down here. Just gonna curse them. Starting battle now. Good luck, guys. Three, two, one, charge! Alright, you guys got this. Bam! 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 <laughs> yes! All right, you guys, we got a couple deaths down here. Three, oh, okay, you can do it, you can do it. We're almost there, we're almost there. I believe in all of you, okay? Just push through, push through, we can get it. Gotta get these dinos down as soon as possible before they turn into, yes. Okay, good luck, guys. You can do this, you can do this. They're just trying to eat time. That's all they're trying to do is eat time. All right, we got it. Sorry about the deaths, guys. It's getting rough. We can do this. <laughs> we made it through together. Thank you, Paru. Thank you, everyone, actually. Yes. <laughs> Boon selection, guys. Alright, in chat. Read over 1, 2, and 3. And any of you guys who feel like that will help benefit us, then please put the number you think in chat will be the best one for our group. Thank you for this sub! <laughs> Thank you, Georgie! <laughs> oh! Thank you so much! <laughs> welcome in! Welcome in! Now you get to use a whole bunch of different IU emotes. They're all in there. Some of them are cute. They keep on growing. <laughs> Oh, that one is super cute, too. Where's that one from? Oh, cool. Okay, cool. Bongo Fox. One of my favorites. And I do need to dye my hair right in here purple again. I kind of let it go natural once it faded out. Alright, let's see. Dagger assessment, blah, blah. I would say that all units have 5% more defense considering what's going on would be a good thing. So I'm gonna rock out with that right now. Okay, since no one's voting and stuff like that. Okay. I could throw a poll up, it was working better earlier. All right. Flux with that premier bomb. I approve. Also, Poke Catch, guys. Okay, Georgie, we'll probably be playing Elder Scrolls when you come back, uh, and we'll go back to uh, campaign mode with Stream Raiders. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. You can rock. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Your target's ground, a vat of fluids that releases a cyber orc after 25 seconds? This is crazy. Loader bots, ground, a heavily armored machine used for manual labor. Okay. Guys, this is crazy. I don't even know what to do. 
Yeah, I do. Put our fire orc slayer out. Hey, good job on catching kibble. I, you guys, anything you can throw with AOE damage, I'm gonna be cool with. Okay. I'm gonna need it. Thank you so much for helping out. I've never gotten this far. This is level 20. Woo! I mean... 150 keys in? Yeah, it's super cool. I don't know, man. Um... Rin, you've been playing this for a while? Somebody said boom. Here comes the... <laughs> Do it. Thank you for the epic balloon buster! <laughs> Sam the fart queen, nice. Hollybox TV, super cool. Yes! <laughs> Bring it, guys, yes. <laughs> I'm super excited. <laughs> Three minutes to place your units. Oh my goodness, guys, let's do this. They're overwhelming, but I believe in us. They're so overwhelming. Look at them all. And in each one of those could be an orc. It is an orc. We gotta smash them. As fast as possible. We're not starting this one early. No, we're not. We're gonna let everybody get as many pieces in as possible. I believe in you. All of you. Getting intense in here, huh? Twelve whole bees. Hope the world has more than twelve whole bees, my friend. Cavination, hydration. We can do this, guys. Oh, oh, we've got a flyer in here. Aerial units will do good, considering we have a lot of ground units in here. Um, they can't even touch the aerial units. Just a little bit of tidbits of advice for you guys. Maybe a little late on the draw with that, but when you see a whole bunch of ground units, do not be afraid to use flying units. 46 seconds to place your units! Eat us on, guys. Eighteen seconds to place your units. Oh, 
Oh no. The little one is beckoning for water. But there's two of us parents in this house, so... Hopefully he'll get it. Alright, battle's ready. I, I don't even know what I should place. What do we have out here? We got some orc slayers. Armored. No, it's... Stronghold. We'll make it easier for you guys over here. Starting battle, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully I made the right call on that. Three, two, one, charge! Fish. Fish. Okay, great guys. Oh no, we're losing half our people. There's an army! Holy Box TV, you're doing great? Don't die! No, I'm all alone! Gotta squish the... Go after the things that are shooting you to death. I'm gonna drop. Uh, wah, wah, wah. Okay, so we made it past, or we made it to level 19, we made it, made it to level 20. Total keys earned, 155. Total units placed, 192, and the only amount of allies is 61, which is not bad considering everything. We had a Bruins list. Good job, Sarge Drop. Math Queen, thank you for coming in on number two on there. Warlord of Chaos, thank you for number three. Red of House Black, thank you for sticking with me for so long, too. Uh, number four, Paru, number five. Anelia, number six. Twelve Whole Bees, number seven. Bro Jobs. Number eight, Ninetail Fox, coming in on number nine. Hollybox TV, number ten. And a look at you guys. Thank you everyone who's helped out with all of this. This has been absolutely awesome and chaotic. And let's go to the store now. Alright, if you haven't gotten your epic fairy, or your fairy, go ahead and buy your fairy. Important stuff, Sam. I don't have my fairy yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that. Cute little fairy. Quests over here, I need to go ahead and collect over here, because I haven't done that in a while. Got the war effort done. Oh, legendary drop. Alright, see, these are some pretty cool things over here. Go ahead over the store again. We've got 147. Port Stream Raiders. Evil Queen Epic Fairy. Necromancer, Balloon Buster Scrolls. See, this is when you can get all those legendary drops. I'm about to do this, though. Awesome. We'll run it again later. This is super cool. Hey, meat. That's cool. Look at all this fairy stuff. We'll get the Evil Queen epic fairy next time we run this. We'll run it a few times, get everything done. Pretty cool. Love it. Hey, 
and we'll leave it at that. Hang on. Great. Upgrade. Great. Nine out of ten. What? Info. Hit points thirty. Range three point five. Damage ten. Port roll heals allied units for ten HP in a large area. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some more in there because she's right there. Very cool. Also very cool. Alright, I think she's ready to level up again. Get her up to six. There we go. My fairy's up there at six. And in go to the store. Look over some scrolls. Twenty-one. Kenobi gets bought. Purple, and it's right here. Monk gets bought. Vampire horse. Healer. I'm buying everything that's under twenty right now. All right. Pop over to the campaign so we can go back to the regular game. Collect on these real quick. Cool. Necromantic scrolls! Oh my goodness. Yes, I will take that. My little baby stuff. Still working on everything though. You guys are rock stars. Alright, and this will be easy for anyone who has just started everything and needs to level up their stuff. Please hop on in with this. Let's see where everything is real quick. We have a... It says an unknown chest, but... There's a loyalty gold chest. We want loyalty skin chest. Oh. Loyalty scroll chest. Loyalty super boss chest. I think we're gonna go this way. Starting battle, guys. Okay, we have a lot of ground units in here, so we can use flying. Hold on a second, I have to... Sorry, I have to help my little one out. Does she need something? Throw a vampire out. You guys, I don't even need to tell you what to throw out for this. If we have enough people, it'll be good. Thank you for helping out. Give me one second, and I gotta get my kids some water.
Hey guys, thank you for the, the pause. And we've got this rolling right now. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, since this is a 30 minute battle, is I'm going to start playing ESO. And playing ESO. We'll go ahead and have this in the background. There we go. Where's the rest of the cast? Alright, you guys are awesome. Um, I've got some stuff to do before... That's where the music's coming from. Before it becomes midnight, including getting my ticket. For the event, because I'm trying to get the hourglass. We can go ahead and leave it saying Stream Raiders. Because that is in the background. It looks as if I've already acquired some stuff, though I don't remember doing so. It's very weird. Hey, you item soul that makes for a good day. Item expired, the giant mason. Quite all right, we'll go ahead and hold on to that. Ah, oh, we'll have to give those out to some guildies. Weed, you're awesome. Thank you, Duper Dave. You're awesome too. That's a really good one. Ah, weed. <gasps> Very cool. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to the event. What's going on right now? I know it's a bit laggy. Time to check up on you, hero. No, I know you're hiding somewhere. I'm not gonna take all of those out. Miners. That is mighty brave of you. Kinda laggy though, huh? Maybe. Here, Joke. Maybe after the event it'll calm down a little bit. But let's go ahead and head over to Beltwood. Beautiful scenery. <gasps> I 
I'm not gonna spam out the event, I don't think, because there's enough time to get the thing. Another on the war orphan? Ah, yes. Some of those who walk the war, I can assist you with that. Anything you can. What grace! Stand our smiles upon it. Also, kill some encroaching wild. back over See yeah, that wasn't so hard. Pick up one of those things. Let's see. I know where I'm going. Yeah. Drop that off at Breda. She likes to lay down with my daughter. Eighteen minutes to place your units, guys. All right. This way, the singer, the storyteller, who resides in the now. Return. All right. Quite the We've done the war orphan surgery. We got our event tickets. The, war. I am only a new the Bretons of Altair Castle have a curie here. Put that in. Everything in this performance gets with it. All right, so it's there. Really cool. I got Seals of Endeavor from that. What was I doing? And the Devon's watch. Let's go. 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 All right, let's go ahead and see something. It looks like we have enough people to be able to take this. Don't forget to place your units, everybody. We might start early. I'm gonna go ahead and wait until halfway through. We should have enough people then. You can't hear me? Well, I wonder why not. Can you hear me now? Because it's showing that my audio is on and catching my audio both on stream raiders and in the thing. Okay, do you know how many times I have overlooked a simple thing like that? Because we're so worried about the bigger picture and complications. It is sometimes very, very 
easy to overlook little things like that. I do it all the time. But I know that if I can see my voice going on a voice bar on the microphone bar, that it's showing up in stream. So, I mean, a lot of times that does kind of help me. Whoa, okay. Pokey catch. It's a whale of a tail right there. I recommend. I recommend. This game is going to be glitchy throughout the whole event. Holiday event is oh, not. Adventurer. You're the one I seek. Oh my goodness. Sorry about the bullet jerking around on everything. Hey, Empresario, don't walk away. I like that you walk around here, though. So many treats this time of year. I favor all but the swamp food. I mean, that's, that's cool. Don't need that. That's the next one. Hallowed white golden gun. One more piece. And then we're done. So let's see what we have with storyline to do. Alakir's gun or Alphorian, Tenkorai, Etnik, Blackwood we haven't done but Craglorn we'll come back to. We can go over Galen soon. We've got a few that we've already started that we can pick up on. Seems a good time to put the headsets on. There's so many good things to do. I think we're going to go back over to Rothgar and finish that up. Oh, well, I've got to go over to the city anyway. Okay, or city it is. It shouldn't be that laggy over in our city either because there's really not too many things going on over there right now. Here we go. Rockin' back again again. Alright, let's see. Hey, 
10 minutes to place your units. King Kurok, what's up with you? Have you ever looked at these statues? I mean, really looked at them. Legends carved into bronze or stone. The work of hundreds of hours, likely crafted by people who didn't know a thing about their subject matter. And for what purpose, do you think? Um, normally those things are to honor and remember people. And who decides who we honor and remember? The victors, of course, for they get to write the history. Well, but there yeah. are two sides to every story. No one remembers the losers. They fought for what they believed in and failed, and so they are forgotten. Okay. To the vanquished, this isn't a statue of a hero. It's a tribute to a tyrant. This is and true. They see me in the same way, a tyrant. Forcing my ideas upon the people. They say I'm wrong, that I'll destroy the Orsamen. They seek to turn everyone against me. Has someone turned against you? I get reports. Things my advisors think I need to know. One report claims that the Wood Elf is keeping company with Bosrog. When two of my scouts confronted her, she killed them both. I'm concerned that Bosrog has turned Evely against us. <laughs> you think she's a traitor? Evely aids my enemy. The Wood Elf has chosen the wrong side. I worry that you might follow her example. But I have a moot to prepare for, and I've said what I had to say. When you see Evely, I expect you to do the right thing. Okay. I expect I will do the right thing, too. Thank you for your epic armor. Seven minutes to place your units. Are you? Yes, I'm sure you are. I have a message for you. Okay. I thought that was you when I saw you enter the keep. You were in there so long, though, I was beginning to think you'd never come back out. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? Malakath this and Trinamac that and all that talk about traitors from the court. You said you had a message. Right, right. Uh, a little wood elf gave it to me. Described you to a turn and asked me to deliver this letter. Not sure why she was hiding under that hood. I think she spoke with a funny accent. I haven't met that many wood elves, so... Uh... Did she say anything else? As a matter of fact, although it didn't make a lick of sense to me, she said the letter itself wasn't important. She said that what really matters is the beginning of every thought. Maybe you'll understand it, because I certainly don't. Okay. Also, before this flips over... Also, for those of you who don't know, there is a crown sale going on. So if there's things in the crown store that you really want, then a good time to jump on that. I will get that fox. That's that's my goal. Oh yeah, letter. Epic Paladin on the battlefield. Thank you. Evergreen belt. See, there's one I didn't have.
person or not. The Widow's message. Here we go. We love you, Esther. We love you very much. Are you happy with your lot in life? With all the packs and such? At a glance, you seem so calm. So collected. The cheese you provide is delicious and very much respected. Inn and tavern, keep and castle. Oh, little Echeterre. Hidden away from king and country, life can be unfair. Room for another loaded pack upon your woolly back. Secret knowledge, will you share what we all lack? Words can't convey how we love you, little Echeterre. Forks snow, it's more than the manner. Don't worry, we won't embarrass you any further. Smell the love, one last hug for all. Okay, let's see. W A A T I H R S You know, uh, come to think of it, maybe the message is in some kind of code. Hey, may maybe someone in the Mages Guild could help you decipher that. I mean, if you need any help, that is. Do you know anyone who can decipher codes? Well, maybe, if there's actually a hidden message and it's not just some weird poem. I have a friend, sort of, named Kalina. She just arrived in the Mages Guild, and she's the smartest person I know. She could help you, probably. Cool. So we're looking for the Mage's Guild. Hey, hey, Epic Buster. Let's see what's going on over there. Oh, look at everyone. Super cool. Guys, check this out. We have 28 people in here. Awesome, 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 awesome. Some very familiar fa names in here. It's great to see you guys. Okay. Well, we're going to leave that one minute up. Just to give you guys some time. This is super cool, guys. You're so awesome. And I do need to check the Five war beasts, four paladins, and four assists from buffing. You know, I tend to get stuck on the assists from buffing, so. I'll throw a fairy out next time. I'm gonna throw a haste on you guys. That's all you need. There's an um, awesome amount right now. Oh. Alright, I'll try to reach as many people as I can.
starting battle. Three, two, one, charge! <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is just slaughter. That's just great. All right, opening captain chest now. I'm gonna keep this randomized because you're all rock stars. Congratulations, everyone. Remember, if you are watching the stream, that does help you end up getting the item rewards. It does favor people watching a stream. Heading back to map. All right, and we decided to go up this way, so. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my little support unit in for you guys. Please help me out. Thank you so much. Place your units! You guys are rock stars. Heading back over to the story. Okay, let's see. I'm so spaced out right now. Outlaws Refuge. There's the Fighters Guild. So the Mages Guild should be over here, right? One would think. Oh, you're downstairs. Okay, cool. This won't do. This just won't do at all. What were the orcs thinking, giving us this decrepit old building? This is hardly a proper location for the Mages Guild. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there something I can help you with? Um, I have a message for you to decipher. A coded message? You mean as in spies and such? That's not something I'm usually asked about. Reagents, soul gems, spells. Those are my usual areas of expertise. Not sure I can be of much help in this, but perhaps I can offer a bit of advice. Okay, anything. Coded messages, if that's what this is, tend to contain patterns. The message, or the poem in this case, usually doesn't mean anything as a whole. The real message is in the tiny snippets. Try looking at the words differently. Maybe that will help. There must be something else you can tell me. Let me look at the message. We are at the inn. Hidden room. Secret words. 
horse don't smell. Okay, so you're at the inn. Okay, so where's the inn? Well, that's the tavern, but is it also the inn? This is me right out there. Okay, well... Forge. Corner club. Kill traders. As for as my... Yeah, so we're just gonna have to... Go check the... Ooh, and see. Let me go check out. Seems like a fine place to put down. I'm gonna go to the inn. Let's go check out the inn. Most of the time a tavern is a tavern and an inn. Damn moot. First the king invites outsiders, and now this. It's no wonder we don't have any rooms left to rent. Plenty to eat and drink downstairs, though, so feel free to go and bother the bartender. I'm looking for my friends, a wood elf and a couple of orcs. A wood elf and two orcs? Sounds like the beginning of a bad limerick. It does, doesn't it? Sorry. We don't see that many of the little elves around here, so I really can't help you. I understand. Orcs don't smell, or so I've heard. Ah, my apologies. I couldn't reveal anything until you said the proper words. Take the stairs down into the storage area. Look for an opening in the wall. It leads to our most private set of rooms. Okay. See, I knew that was better. Not gonna pay to figure that out, goodness. Most private set of rooms. You can't just walk into the boss rock safe. That's suicide. We have to find out what the boss rock has planned. If we wait for them to strike, it will be too late. 
Whatever they're planning, it's going to happen soon. He just about told me as much when he threw me into my own prison. Maybe we should have left you in there. For all we know, you deserve to be in prison. Listen to me, Elf. I didn't attack anyone. I left Orsinium and they ambushed me. I sent you to rescue the Chief Everly. I wouldn't have done that if I believed he was guilty. You lied to us, High Priestess. You knew who you were sending us to rescue the entire time. This feels like one giant trap and we walked right into it. She just walked on the table. Ah, you found us. I'm sorry that Everly is upset, but I did what had to be done. Please, let's talk. Yes, let's, because Everly's in trouble now. I know you have questions, and you're probably just as angry with me as Everly. But please, hear me out, I beg you. There are deadly plots unfolding, and we're all in terrible danger. So you did lie. You could have just told me. I withheld certain details, yes. But I had good reasons. If cultists killed Barzlag in Trinamax name, it would have started a civil war. And if Kurog found out you were trying to rescue Barzlag, you would never have been allowed to leave the city. But you said he was all behind the attack on the temple? Barzrag's shield wife approached me after the Voshwak attacked Farron's stronghold. She knew the king would do nothing for those who didn't accept his rule. Chief Barzrag was ambushed at the same time the temple was being attacked. And what does that prove? Someone wanted to blame Barzrag for the Malakath fanatics, while also removing his chief from the battlefield. It was a brilliant plan. Fortunately, you were able to foil it. And now, thanks to Barzrag, we know what the Voshwak are planning next. So what are they planning? The Voshwak want to make a statement. Something big. Barzrag thinks it involves the moot, where all the chiefs will be gathered. We need more information. Someone needs to enter the old Trinamac temple to the west and learn more about their plans. And you believe that's me? I'll send scouts ahead, but you'll need to get inside and do whatever it takes to uncover the exact nature of their plan. Lives are at stake. Remember that. Now, please, talk to Everly. We need her. You have to convince her to help us. Well, I mean, you put her in a tricky position. You two have your orders. Scout the temple exterior. The others will join you shortly. Finally! Something to do that doesn't involve a method. Naramo. Don't be rude. Are there any other bookshelves in here? I don't want to steal anything. I hate this situation. I really do. Being a hero, that's supposed to be pure and honest. Good is good and evil is evil, you know what I mean? But yeah. nothing here is clear cut. I can't tell the good guys from the bad. If it was easy, everyone would be a hero. I'm not even sure whose side I'm on anymore. When Vazrog and I sneaked into the city, two guards got lucky and happened to be in the right place at the right time. They attacked. I... I... I just reacted and let my arrows fly. You did defend yourself and your charge. But I killed two guards who were just doing their job. They probably have loved ones, pets. I... I don't know if I can do this anymore. I mean, if you don't feel like doing it, you don't have to. But I'm here for you, and... We can do this together. I knew you were going to say that. Still... I'm not sure I can get past Solgra's lie. Yeah, that was pretty shitty. She tricked us into helping Chief Barzrog. And I'm still not sure about his role in all this. He was a patsy. All right. You can count on me. But I'm doing this for you, not them. Okay, well, I mean, then we're in this together. Come on over to this place. I can trust you. I can do that. Besides... It'll be nice to get out of the city. Try to forget about the price on my head for a while. 
All right. Wild hypno Let's appears. Okay, cash. So be careful out there, will you? I can't afford to lose the only person I really trust. You're one of the few I trust here, Valley. Do this. Pay no mind to anyone else. I feel like there's a fur on me. Furs everywhere. I feel like Ayu is this Ayu of Ayu Bravalo. I go into the corner. Or go over to that. Yes. What's your step, Zhuang? You know I'm not catching you if you fall, right? Fifteen minutes to place your units. <laughs> Get those dinos, guys. So let's go. The entrance has to be somewhere, you know, Paul. Mm -hmm. It's certainly well hidden. If Bazrug lied to us, then we're probably about to meet with horrible, horrible deaths. I think that you are also Naramo. I've got the good news, disappointing news, and downright awful news. The good, Bazrog's instructions were easy to follow. The disappointing, I have no idea how to find the entrance, and there's no way to get inside without being attacked. She's panicking again. Do. Okay, so what's the downright awful news? a bit with Talvia, and now I owe him a traditional Valenwood dinner. You know, the kind wood elves like to eat. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he realizes what kind of meat he's eating. It'll be priceless. And that's a bad thing? Yeah. I guess I just needed to get out of the city. I was seriously depressed when I wound up on the King's Most Wanted list. Thanks for picking me. Infiltrating a cult is certainly better than hiding in a hole someplace. Well, yeah. How do we get inside? Well, with all the runners we've spotted, we know we're in the right place. We just need to find a way to get inside without being noticed. Who knows? We might be able to do something with those higher-ranking cultists in the Phantom Earth. Okay. Well, a few of the masked cultists this guy is passed bad. this way a little while ago. Then we heard a large commotion over there to the west. I can't be sure, mind you, but I think those Vosrock might have... Well, they could have walked into a... Um, Just tell me. How do you think... Well, he thinks that the group might have walked into an Achartair mating ritual. The sounds from the west, the screams. If so, the noise was horrible. Then it got real quiet. I don't think it went well for the cultists. I mean, how would you like it if somebody just walked in? Hi! Welcome in, future ranger! 350 pounds, we did it! We did it, welcome in! Thank you, thank you! It's nice to meet you! Oh, I like the wiggles! Where are you coming from? I'll see if I can find something we use. Poor Ashatres, we're having a mating ritual. I hear they become extremely violent when anything interrupts their frolicking. Their we'll mating ritual? Meet you inside. Good luck. 
super excited. You 352, it's growing every moment. Oh, very cool. <laughs> that is super cool. Thank you so much. Okay, that's that's super awesome. We're actually getting further. We have a lot of boss battles behind us. And anytime I stream, I keep it up and going. We did dungeons for the whole first part of the stream. And yes, absolutely. Check it out. Come on in here. I'm not sure if these are still cool to see a lot of people in here. Go ahead and place the, you know, it's just place whatever you want, wherever you want right now. <laughs> well, you definitely came in all positive too, so I think you'll be a great fit for our fam. <laughs> We do some fundraisers here and there. Ah! <laughs> wow! Thank you for the subscription. Ah! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Ah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh man, you guys. <laughs> I have never seen that one either. What is this one? Does the am show wiggle? I can do a wiggle. <laughs> so I'm my main game right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're making me giggle. My main game right now we're doing storyline in is Elder Scrolls Online. I'm not doing that. Like, no, nah. This, this shares copy. It takes too much to push it out of the way. I'll go with that. <sighs> wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yep. So this is Elder Scrolls Online. I'm doing a little bit of story time now. I am a guild leader for. I am the guild leader for a PlayStation NA for Elder Scrolls Online. And, um,. We do events, but right now is one of the few days we don't have an event going on, so I'm able to actually pour in a storyline, which I would like to, at one point, have my main character finish the storyline, and then we'll be doing achievement hunting. Super excited over that. I'm even a nerd with it. So, there's a whole bunch of motifs, which are like style pages. And I have a motif list here. Ooh, all right. Yay! Thank you for the epic archer! <gasps> oh, cool! Cool, future ranger! You are a... Oh, cool! You're a captain! Oh yeah, I'm gonna go follow you right now. You 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 dabble. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, no, you were definitely part of the fam. I'm gonna go follow you right now. Hold on. No, wrong thing. All right, so I'm popping over to Stream Raiders while I'm doing this because it's almost time and, you know, place your units and such. Okay, and I'm um, pulling up my little thingy. <laughs> yes, it does. That is so cool. Well, I mean, you kind of expose yourself by putting one of your epic things out there, so, I mean... I would have found out one way or another. <laughs> Let me see. Alright, I see you now.
<laughs> yes. All right. Well, you know, we've got some things in here. We got some, we're all about the foxes in here. So we just did a fox fundraiser not so long ago. For Save a Fox Foundation. They save foxes from fur farms and stuff like that. And then they go through a high vetting process to adopt them out to homes in one of the 10 states that actually allow you to have foxes for, um, pets so we try to make sure that animal conversa conservation is pretty large around here we really care about the fuzz therapy around here and um right now we are taking a little bit of break from that because we just succeeded at that fundraiser and i'm super excited about that but we're moving times i am i am an active duty air force wife mm-hmm my husband works full-time for Air Force. We live on a military base. I won't say the location of that just because that's how I roll. And who knows? It might be different in a couple weeks to a couple years anyway. I do this for a living. I have moved my time to nighttime. That way I can go ahead and take care of my daughter during daytime after she's out of school, sit down and do homework with her and make sure I'm a part of the life while still doing things. Oh, very cool. Very, oh, so you understand, you understand. I tried to go ahead and get jobs before, but there's so much high maintenance to being a military spouse that I need to have jobs that I can make my own time and do my own thing, so. Once I get the routine down, um, I like to do a lot of arts and crafts, so I'll be opening up a shop with more than just knitted purses to put my crafts out there for the world to enjoy. It'll probably be nerdy or just handcrafted fun stuff, so. I've got so many skills. I make knitted purses now, though. Twenty twenty four, huh? Oh, you're oh. Very cool, very cool. Well, thank you for your service. <laughs> I'll tell him you said that. He busts his ass though. He is an NCOIC, so he does bust his ass with the things and tries to get people to actually. You'll learn their skills and stuff like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, so Warlord of Chaos is my husband. <laughs> you guys have fun in here, okay? Uh, <laughs> that was great. You guys can have fun. I will definitely sit here and watch your conversations going on right there. I'm gonna find this disguise over here. Uh oh. Boom. I just made that so much easier for that person who just walked up. Great, cool costume. Well, I mean, 
had to have your feet on the ground, though, right? Like that was, was the thing. Was it Lena Reed, the one who saved Master Mizgu from the Supernal Green Knight? Yeah, it's me. Oh, Poke Catch, guys. Save the turtles, catch the Poke Come on. Oh, you have a skee ball in the house now? Did you test it out and see if it was good? Were you guys like killing yourselves left and right? Okay, super cool. Look at all these people in here. Also, Riot be very nice. Future Ranger has become one of our subscribers and is chilling out with us, so you guys can become friends. Look at everyone! Huzzah! <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm gonna throw some haste on you guys because you're just absolutely amazing. Let's do this. Three, two, one, charge! Future Ranger also streams. So we're gonna be supporting the streams on there too. Oh, I'm in such a good mood. You guys got me all day long, man. Just for the record, my husband doesn't really like Starbucks. You haven't drank that Death Wish coffee in forever. I'm calling you out left and right today. He makes mean coffee, though. I'll tell you that. I'm sipping on one right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. Guys, I have to run flag bearers, so I'm gonna run a few flag bearers. Yeah, he's going career. That's his goal. Pretty much. Doesn't stop all the side hustles, though. I mean, like, he likes doing woodworking, and I like doing crafting, so between the two of us combined, I don't think either one of us like to sit down for too long. Place your units! Guys, you have about 30 minutes to place your units. Remember, every five minutes you can place one unit. Or every, yes, five minutes you can place one unit. It makes you grumbly. You, you know, the grumbly stuff.
All right, let's see what we can do in here. He's really patient with me. I have anxiety and this is the best way I can socialize with people. It's merely an illusion bound to the amulet. Nothing to be concerned about. I've seen these used at festivals and grand balls back home. I wonder if they come in different colors. I mean, eventually, like over time. The amulet too. But tell me, was I right? Did the Achates get all frolicsome on those cultists? Wait a moment. Your amulet's cracked. You weren't supposed to break it, you know. It was broken when I found it. They weren't particularly careful with the cultists. Well, the illusion seems to be holding up, at least for now. Hopefully it won't fail at a particularly critical moment. Anyway, I think we should split up and cover more ground. That's the best way to find what we're looking for quickly. All right. Are you sure splitting the party is a good idea? This place is enormous. Besides, you never put all your acorns in one basket. We need to find out what the Vosrak are up to and fast. Lies and I will look around out here while you and Pal see what the high-ranking cultists are meeting about. Okay, let's come here after we found everything. Good idea. And let's not take too long. Lives are depending on us. And speaking of lives, make sure Pal stays safe, will you? He isn't as experienced as we are. I'm afraid his wide-eyed enthusiasm is going to get him injured. You be careful too, okay? Stay safe. Lies and I will meet up with you later. I guess we're really doing this, aren't we? All That's right. Naramo's voice. We can do this. We just sneak in. Find out what we need to know and get out. I mean, it's just a meeting. We have these amulets. We'll be fine, right? You sure you're ready for this? It's the whole reason I came to Rothgar. Thank you both for your To service. show that I can fight. To prove myself to my family, to everyone. I'm more than just a scribe destined to spend his whole life behind a desk. This, this will show everyone what I'm capable of. You don't have to prove anything. Be careful. Oh, that's where you're wrong, my friend. I come from a long line of warriors and mages, but most of my family considers me to be the tarnished fruit on the tree of golden pears. It's time for me to show them who I really am. And let's go do something with your family, Pat. I knew you'd understand. When your father is a royal mage, your mother is one of the Queen's Guard, and your sister almost single-handedly won the Battle of Sunken Spire. Well, let's just say, I've got a lot to live up to. Now, let's go do this. Let's go. 25 minutes to place your units. Well, I mean, I appreciate you guys.
Thank you for your support. We must hear our prayers, guide our weapons, and alert us to all dangers. Grant us the courage to complete the trial you placed before us. That doesn't sound good. I thought we were just spying on a meeting. You, the chosen of the Vostrot, have shown bravery against the Malakath heretics, even going so far as to invade the temple we love and cherish. But one challenge remains, a challenge to test you, to select the most worthy for our most important mission. I, uh, now I'll agree to that. And select a blessing to help you in your ordeal. Elder Azul will answer any questions you have. Now, in Trinamac's name, may you find great honor. But it's worth it. An honorable death. You stand among the holy woods of Trinamac. Read the scroll carefully and choose a blessing to help you in the coming trial. What can you tell me about this trial? The mission before us requires the best the Bosch Rock has to offer. This trial will determine those select few through a test of wit, speed, and strength. Trinamac himself will riddle the iron from war. All the details are the purview of those who complete the mission. But Trinamac thanks you for volunteering, no matter how things turn out. If you succeed and do as the Council demands, all will be revealed. Fail, and death is your only reward. As the Council demands? The last part of the trial requires that you obey the Council without question, but you won't have to deal with that until the very end. Remember, if you succeed, you will be named a Chosen of Trinamac and allowed to partake in the sacred mission. One of my fundraisers actually helps with Month of the Military Child. Um, it gains support, so there's outreach, and um, so the Military Child can be celebrated. Before, before Riot came along, I was a single mom of seven years. I did everything by myself. I worked, I went to school, I pushed through a bachelor's degree in business management. And I made time for my daughter. Um, she had to, when we moved, when we moved after the wedding, she had to learn about moving from not only a house, which I got her used to beforehand because of my lifestyle, but she had to learn how to leave people. And I think that was the hardest part for her. And she still hasn't dealt with a military move yet where she won't see her people. And she's, for the first time in her life, she's made some really good friends. So I'm hoping that she learns how to value people at a distance. And I mean, it's hard as a mom watching her go through these things. And teaching her about why we're giving her every opportunity that she can have and how to still value school even when it's a different slope anywhere you're at on how thorough they teach people. It's what it is. Still better to know that we're here she's she chose you your dad she chose you and she never chose anyone before we are kind of both very concerned if when gets deployed um we just want him to come back home. Ooh, Pokey Catch. But his quality of life has gone up since we've been around and hoping to continue to raise that quality of life.
And anytime I open the closet to put away his clothes, I do see it. So it's a reminder that we lay down at separate times. It's a reminder. So it, it's pretty consistent reminder to appreciate every day as much as possible. You never know how much time you have with somebody they when they turn see my words are already hard to put out there it's hard but if you love someone you'll go through that and our our family makes all of us better people so it's 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 worth it. That's a strange question for someone who holds your rank. Haven't you learned this much already? Our communication is pretty good, but I think the military teaches a certain amount of silence, so a certain amount of confidentiality, so I think that bleeds into communication in a household. Um, learning how to vibe with each other with a complete different life structure, I think it, it strikes me as weird living on a base when it feels like everything is confined while it's safer it still feels like it still feels like it's um a bit of a cage because i mean as we can come and go as much as we want that's that's fine but living with walls around makes it seem so isolated military parents essentially don't want to do much else with anything but military parents and I'm not used to that culture I'm used to running around with a, a diversity of cultures a diversity of intelligence and like I, I'm that person that chameleons in and out of every single life that I walk through and and living in something that it, it it's just a very different culture than what I'm used to. Hmm. I could appreciate that. It in truth, our beliefs and those of Orsinian's temple are similar, though they are not as pure in their devotion to Trinomac. But there are those in the city who follow our teachings and just wear a different mask. Patience, Overseer. All will be revealed in good time. First, complete the trials and prove your worth in this endeavor. Then, all will be revealed. And if you fail, it won't matter, for the dead have little use for knowledge. Okay. Yeah. Come on. 
I'm not depressed. This just got super serious, okay? I could pop back into like being a happy at you, okay? You guys are amazing. And I honestly appreciate so much support from so many people who do understand. That's exactly why I put that tag there is so um I could I can have more people to relate to with things, so you know it's a support system. It kinda helps ease my anxiety to know that I'm not the only one in the world who who's going through these things, especially since I haven't gone through a deployment or any of the other stuff. Like I'm I'm really happy to know you guys are here and I hope when that day comes you guys are you guys are here, so when I come here to work, I'm hanging out with friends too, and it's just as much a support system to me to keep on being happy and here for everyone else as it is to you guys. Oh well, yeah! That's exactly why I put that tag there, though. I mean, I really appreciate you guys being here. Like, I did it for real people who will have real conversations and who can relate with me. And for some people who, you know, there's a lot of dark in this world. So if I can make it a little brighter of a place, then I feel like I'm doing the right thing. And I feel like I get more outreach here than I do walking around on base. <laughs> like, I feel like that's just, uh, I don't reach as many people. That's why I became a, a Girl Scout troop lead on base. Yeah, so, I mean, like, it's just my thing. I, I, I love supporting people and making people feel good, but I also love it when, you know, when you got my back, too. So, I mean, I'm, I'm not looking to push that, that number up quickly. I'm not looking to be a Twitch partner quickly. Every single one of the people who has followed... I'm trying to get to know all you guys. Like, I don't care if I have 25,000 people following me. I want to know about each and every single one of you guys. And I want to be able to relate on good days and bad days. And I want you guys to know it's a safe place here for all of us. And that's, that's why I'm here. And that's why I felt like this was a calling to me. I'm doing it. Well, uh, that's what I'm worried about for Riot. Um, I believe that... Because my dad worked federal afterwards. I believe that the best thing... Is to work into a federal position. Like, once you leave... Once you leave service, move into federal. So you're not outside of the system too much. And you're still around what's comfortable to you. Like, my dad did forestry for years and years and years. And that actually is why I was raised into... And he was a, an Eagle Scout, and that's why I'm a Girl Scout troop lead. And why... I don't know. It, it just kind of passed down. So, I mean... I think you guys can do this. I think if you keep it... If I took my dad's advice and went federal when I was younger, but I wanted to make my own path, and that was ridiculous. But if I went federal when I was younger, I'd still be doing federal, but then I wouldn't be here to, like, you know, maybe everything moves in its way because it has to. I like being an alternative person. Maybe I wouldn't be so much that way. He's not used to it now. Oh, goodness. I mean, I kind of flow like water through all cultures, movements and that, but I can't say that I haven't been a target of 
cancel culture in the last game that I used to play. So, I mean, I get that. I can't say I haven't dealt with cancel culture in things. I get that. I suppose this isn't where I go and say normal people. I'm not a normal people anyway. I pick on Riot when he calls- it was so much of a shock to be called a civilian. Like, what is this nonsense? Like, oh, what did you say? <laughs> Civilian. Psh. I identify as. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. I get it. I get it. <laughs> but it was very hard to get used to being called a civilian. When I worked my whole life to be some sort of character, or like when I worked my whole life to break out of that norm. And then I get called a civilian, I'm like, ah! <laughs> What did she just call me? I mean, I don't think this is just some routine meeting. What in Akatosh's name are they talking about? A trial? Trinamax blessing? I think it's kind of old school. I was raised that way too. Me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I know this is a serious conversation. I think we need to complete the trial to find out what they're planning. My father always says, the rabble face death every day, while the brave always find a way to defeat it. I've never been exactly sure what he meant, but I think I know now. You really don't have to do this. Yes. Yes, I do. This is what I came here for. This is my time to shine. Besides, you're here with me. We'll watch each other's back and come out victorious in the end. Very cool. Yeah, his go, go, go gets me sometimes, too, because when I want to sit there and pace and, like, just take my time to prepare for things and not miss any detail, he's like, go, 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 and he's like, get it done, and I'm sitting there doing the details behind him, like, don't push me and don't go, go, go me. Very cool. I'm sorry, I have to read things for this quest. Pokey Cash!
Have you started to scroll? No. Um, I have, I have anxiety as a side effect of my PTSD, which I got from life, did I say life, and being military, he has been trained to know how to support that and nurture it and might make life an easier place. Also because of that, um, I find my balance through finding entrepreneurships like making making things by crafting by gaming by being a mom um so it's i feel safer knowing that he can ground me out too so it, it kind of goes both ways Kind of talked him into getting it. I'm proud of him. He's going real far. You guys are badasses. Oh my gosh. All right, popping over to Stream Raiders, guys. See? See? You got support here. Look at that. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at everyone. Or else you just won't want to do it. Yeah, I, I got my bachelor's degree and I wanted to go for the master's. <laughs> okay, haste on everyone. Wait, you heart who? You love who? I don't I don't understand this. There's a lot of yous in here. <laughs> Starting battle. Three, two, one, charge! <laughs> we can do this, okay? Don't let him down. Oh no, guys, there's so many of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> you can be my Air Force daddy. <laughs> no! <laughs> you guys are bad. All right, I'm throwing a flying 
thingy out here. You mean a daddy or a daddy? <laughs> Is it because you have more time to be attentive, right? Oh. I'm just gonna stop and go back to the store. <laughs> Why is she gonna... Place your units! <laughs> I I totally barely read everything, but I'm going to try to do it anyway. Do you mean uncle or uncle? Have you studied the scrolls? Do you know the words of Trinimac and are you ready to enter the gauntlet? The only aid you will receive is the blessing that you choose, so make your selection wisely. So, which blessing have you decided upon? Will you accept the blessing of Avalian and become one with the wind? Or will Vaya's resolve protect you from the coming trials? Or perhaps Usanoff's rage will grant you the strength to succeed? I'm pretty sure all of you make one unit. That's supposed to protect the United States, and I feel like sometimes you guys are taken for granted when you should not be. We need you guys. We need you guys. I don't know. Protect us? Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> what did this chat turn into? <laughs> You guys are bad. Then let Trinimac be your shield against the dangers of the gauntlet. This is why I made an 18 plus 10. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. You know, you can't put military spouse on there without making an 18 plus channel. This I have learned. well, for I do not like to repeat myself. To unlock the door, you need to activate the four switches. The Vosh rock inside will try to stop you. We will be timed. Okay. Now, should you take too long, the switches reset and you will need to begin again. Others may pass you and take the position you fight for. And don't worry about killing anyone. They're certainly going to try to kill you. Trinimac favors the victorious in battle. If followers fall, they are not worthy. The Voshrock understand that. Don't be crazy. Your time starts now. I don't even know where I'm going, but we'll try to get this. Well, there's one of them. Alright, switching that gauntlet on. You guys are silly. 
Alright. I didn't even eat food for this. Like, I had to eat food. Uh, hey! Catch this! I can siphon your life out of you. I mean, you can keep on trying. I'll let you hit me. Alright, let's go! You guys! <laughs> Ow! Did that take me right back up? Oh no. It's a maze. Oh, wrong button. I'm not sure how I like you guys' briefs. Eighteen seconds. I'm not gonna make it. I got lost. Mess me up. Where's the other gauntlet switch? <gasps> Is there a gauntlet down here? I must find them all before I go. Yeah, okay. Oh, was it upstairs? Um, can you elaborate on that? Or should I not ask for that? Starts now. Okay, so that it's not on this one. It must be upstairs on this one. They're gonna get all angry at me. It's the first one. Get to the highest level and look down. It seems to make sense. I don't know. 20 minutes to place your units! I don't even know. I don't even know. You guys are crazy. I 
shouldn't even have to kill you. Oh. Smash! Nightbot, stop, stop it. We got three of them now. Want to. Here. Where's one? Or is it upstairs? It's upstairs! Okay. Got this. Got this. Okay, I don't got this. Upstairs. Don't even care what the you're doing is not your concern. Get it! Go, go, go. They're gonna try to stop you, just ignore them. Oh, yeah? Okay. We did a Christmas a little bit early. I knew we could do it. Probably not streaming on Christmas, guys. We got invited to a Christmas, like, family feast thing. I might still afterward. Ah, now I see how you can see the Devon Ice so quickly. Your disguise is not new. Your great courage to stand before us. But what are you truly doing here? Are your intentions as clear as ours? Okay. So I hear you're really committed. Will the blood of your ally in two more turns come to slay your true lover? Hey, my amulet stopped working. And did they just say something about spilling my blood? Oh my, you're not considering following through with this, are you? That, that's insane. Make Your full skin? Uh, I'm getting a little closer. <gasps> oh, cool! I don't know if I'm cool with sacrificing a friend. We did warn him so many times, but... We might not have valuable information to go this way. Okay. <laughs> Your teammates will stop us. Our warriors are already inside the city. Okay, but you're gonna die. <laughs> yes. That was 
kind of exciting. I'll ward the door while you search the room. Find out what they're planning. Then go and let the others know. Okay. I mean, those are pretty good uh, guidelines for life, though, aren't they? So what would happen if you actually need it then? <laughs> Here guys, hold this. 11 minutes to place your units! Guys, we got pretty slaughtered last round. That did happen, actually. That did happen. Thank you for the paladin! Little nappy. Occasionally he has to explain to me why there's somebody who needs to show up and eat food at our house. Or that he's gotta go rescue someone that did something not very smart. There you are. I was beginning to get worried about Sometimes you. the kids show up to we our house some... with like no weird items that I will not explain. It's also like three dollars every time you eat there, isn't it? All by himself? Are you sure he can handle that? What am I saying? Of course you're sure. We managed to find out that the attack on the temple was a ruse perpetrated by the Bosch Rock. Oh no, I absolutely support the you know, being a leader and helping people. Yeah. Yeah. Was suddenly as naked as an ash tree but I did also get really frustrated at getting woke up at 3 a.m. and it not being an emergency all to place the blame on Basrog the chief is innocent I didn't help a murderer that's 
phone was getting spammed all night, 3 a.m. I had just laid down after getting off of stream at like 2 a.m. Got like one hour of sleep. And then the phone goes off. Rise and I will go warn Chief Basrog. This whole thing? It's stranger even than any Investigator Vale story I've ever read. Here, take this. I found it and thought you should have it. For protecting Tal. I appreciate that. Aww. Yes, I got an achievement. Or King's Marshal. Sorry. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, I know all his airmen. Like when we start going you line by line giving them advice. Tyrannical. You should have thought about that before you helped the enemies of our king. Now get out of my way before I toss you in a cell too. I can believe that. All right, Nightbot. We we've, we've got to have a chat. I'm gonna have this chat with Nightbot real quick because that's a little bit too much if it's gonna be spammy like that. It's super cool. But it has to be a lot shorter. I love it though. I love it. It's it makes me very happy and I'm glad that there's a vibe going on in here. Ah, okay. Shutting down a couple of these pages I have open because that might be part of my lag, but Nightbot needs to just stop. Okay, so... Pokey catch! What? Oh! Another metal one.
All right, updated. <laughs> oh. Oh, what drop did you get? Yes! I've been seeing that rocking around a little bit. Oh, oh. How infuriating! I don't even like the place that much, but I'll be damned if I let them toss me out of my own inn. The closer the city gets to completion, the worse things get for us common folk. <laughs> well, on this channel. I use the word fox a lot, so, you know, you guys are foxing awesome, and keep being awesome. I hope to see you guys soon. Um, glad- what? What? Yeah, yeah, well, thank you very much. You guys are rock stars, too. Oh my goodness, future! <laughs> really? <laughs> Right, I've been streaming for like five and a half hours. I'll keep it up for a little bit and then I'll end up, yeah, calling it. My one o'clock is my call it time, so I'm not getting off of this stream until then. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Orsimer soldiers barged into our inn and kicked us out. Now they won't let anyone back in. They decided to detain some of our patrons, including your friends. In fact, the little wood elf showed up right before the soldiers did. There has to be a way to get inside. The soldiers place guards at all the exits, even the back one. Damned if I know how they found out about that. The soldiers won't let anyone in until they finish the king's work, whatever that is. Bunch of stiff boots, the lot of them. Sorry. Uh, well, um, I'll find a way to get you inside. I should have known that hiding folks in our inn would eventually bite us in the arse. This is ridiculous, though. They sent an entire squad of soldiers to lock down one inn. You'd think we were the damn Winterborn or something. I mean, I need your help if you want your in back. Haven't you and your friends caused us enough trouble already? All right. If you get me my in back, I'll try to forget that any of this ever happened. So, how can I help? You guys are evil! <laughs> All right, popping over to Stream Raiders real quick. <laughs> oh no! All right, guys, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw some curses down, like over here, and start battle. Three, two, one, charge! You know, we should all, like, group together. I don't know. Somebody in here is gonna- Aww. I can't get them all down. Oh, 
Oh, ho, oh, oh, I saw that coming. What's showdown? Teach me. Let's stick together, guys. All right, we can do this. We can. I know we can do this. So let's just stick together and keep being rock stars. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. You know, that makes a lot of sense because it it does... I've had that happen a lot. It was really frustrating because that's just an... I mean... It ends up being more of a, a win for the board than it is for... I mean, maybe it's poor strategy. I don't know. But the board wins those situations a lot. I've had to curb my uh, strategy a lot because of that. All right, popping back over to PS5. Please place your units, you guys. Never seen her before. I make it a habit to get to know all of the guards and soldiers who come to the inn to unwind. Oh, okay. From the look on her face, she has an. I haven't really done the PVP the thing. With a cub tied to the forge mother's apron. You must know something about her. What? You looking to court her or something? If you're so enthralled by Captain What's-Her-Name, I heard her tell a soldier she'd be by the ramparts near the stables. But she's a cold fish. Mark my words. You'd do better fishing in a different pond. Do you have your inky with you? That was the first thing they confiscated. It was Sergeant Vulmon. I know him. He's one of our regulars. I mean, Usually fair. Friendly, leaves an extra gold piece now and again. He's stationed near the King's Corner Club, but he won't give up that key. That's between you and him. I'll have no part in that. I'm no criminal, despite how all this looks. Okay, thanks. Hey, hey, epic bomber on the field. Thank you. Morkel wears an hourglass sword. Now I see people willing to spend. Do you not agree? Morkel, look. I'm going to zoom in. Nine tail fox gladiator. Let's 
So is that is that your cat? Oh, I see. Ah, she has a little bongo cat. Kylo or Kilo? Oh, okay, okay. And yes, I do know your reference. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware, but some people spell it, use the Y for an I. Some people. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Yeah, right. Let's open this back up so everybody can see everything. Ooh. And we're back. Oh, everything got quiet in here when he went away. I mean, not much, but there was a lot of banter back and forth. Whoa, hey, why'd you walk away from me? I'm trying to talk to you. Oh. Not like You're just gonna go back to breaking this. the law. I know. Go on. But I'm sure so I'll see you again. Is it stolen? Just don't know. I have clemency. They were to use my clemency. Yes, that's right. I mean, I could have waited until he got in the building and, like, not got caught, but... Don't fall off the ledge. Okay, it's underneath. Go. Oh. What is a gumshoes? Okay, pokey catch, guys. Want a mineral rind or a scrap of meat or some old bread? Anything, please. I'm begging you. I want to be able to help you. Why? What, what exactly do you speak of? Sorry. Were you testing me? <laughs> I, I did. FTS, right? Box this. Shenanigans. Oh, upstairs. Oh, 
I feel like I was just tested. Yeah, you totally wrote Foxy shenanigans. I get it. However, I would definitely keep that in the bag for use. <laughs> so maybe I'm not normal. But I didn't know how to do that before, like, my school was very good about teaching those. Like, I learned those from both my dad and in school, in, like, middle school. But then again, I had a really weird middle school. We had to- we couldn't pass- Oh, no. Um, we couldn't pass middle school without taking, uh, Native American history. Which led us into learning archery in middle school. So we were handling bows and arrows in middle school and learning archery. It was um, it was a requirement to pass the class, history class. We had a really cool history. Our science took us out to islands, and we would go out on islands and collect specimens so we could learn the. Um, uh, Kingdom Phylum class order family genus species. We learned all of that specifically from labeling things and doing research on island stuff that we collected. So she had all these jars around the top of her belt in the room she was in. It was so cool. It was so hands-on too. Like we learned about each one of the species. Thank you. The science projects we did were absolutely amazing and are things I'm trying to bring back in for kids to learn because I don't think they, I think they, like, don't do enough of that in school anymore. Wow, I just went off on a tangent. I was running messages to the cute wood elf and the grumpy orc. When I returned, the soldiers rushed in and stabbed me. Okay, so where are they? They never saw it coming. The soldiers grabbed the orc chief and the elf, took them away by the order of the, the king. I guess I was just in the way. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna leave you some medicine here. It's gonna be okay. Eat that food too. There's plenty of food in here. Not worth. Well, and I'll tell you what though, this lag is kind of messy. I mean, he he does things like that, so she doesn't know what we're talking about when he's asking. If we should get Indigo Charlie, he's asking if we should get ice cream, so she doesn't understand yet, but she's going to learn it quick enough. Some of my Dark Elf friends are still upset that St. Veloth's shrine was attacked. I'm still, and by one of I still have times of not being used to military time. Time is precious. Oh, 
looks like it's downstairs. Favorite problem handler has returned. Have you come to see what you oh. accomplished? Thanks to you, the clan chiefs have gathered to hear what I have to say. <laughs> this is going to be a moot that all of Rothgar won't soon forget. Well, I mean, if we're going to have kids. I don't know. These adopted kids, they keep on coming around. <laughs> Sounds serious, but this is a time for celebration. The next age of the Orsimer people begins today. Okay, why'd you send soldiers to them? In. You dare to question my actions? To imply that I don't have the best interest of my people in mind? If you must know, we received word of the location of the traitors. I sent my soldiers to capture them for interrogation. Did you know that your soldiers were infiltrated by the Vashra? What? How dare you spread such false accusations? Has Basrod filled your head with more of his Malakath lies? I won't hear such things. Not on the verge of my greatest victory. Okay, but where are they? More questions? You're beginning to try my patience. But let's not talk about such matters in front of the clan chiefs. Meet me down in the dining hall and we can continue this discussion in private. I like it. Let's do it. I hear the footsteps of an outsider. Come, we need to talk. Hi. Ah, oh, outsider. You never cease to surprise me. I suppose your recent adventures were somewhat trying. Of course, sticking your tusks where they don't belong usually leads to trouble, doesn't it? What are you talking about? So proud, so sure, so certain that you do the right thing. But you defy the will of Trinomac and try to stop the inevitable by warning me. <sighs> In short, you have begun to annoy me. But I need to warn him about the Vashrak. The Vashrak do exactly what they've been ordered to do. They will eliminate every obstacle that threatens my son. It's time to remove the clan chiefs so that awesomer unification can begin. This is about survival. Surely you can understand that. When Kurok hears this... No. We are done here. You think you know so much, but you're just grasping at straws. The plan proceeds, and you can't stop it. Ha uh ha, -huh, you're Vashrak. will rally as one under the banner of King Kurog. I have foreseen it. Okay. Let it be known, the outsider who stands before us has betrayed our groups. For your actions, I condemn you and your allies to death. A sentence you shall execute by your own hand. May Trinimac guide your blade. I'm sorry it had to come to this. What I do, I do for the good of the Orsimer people. Pretty ridiculous. I just got shanked. Awake? Good. It's about time. I would have been disappointed if you died after I dragged you down here. Put the chopper down and get it. You learn a lot about healing when you're King Korog's shield wife. Looks like my skills apply to outsiders as well. Good. But we've wasted enough time. You need to get moving. Okay, what's going on? I admit I never trusted you. But you've helped our people. You deserve better than to fall to the Forge Mother. I dragged you back here before the Vashrock arrived. Healed you as best I could. Now get out of here before the soldiers find you. There's still things that need to be done. My beloved does what he must to unite our people. You know this is true. You've seen it. The clan chiefs refuse to listen. 
If Korok fails, Orsama will never be anything more than the abused and scorned wretches the other races imagine us to be. What? Come on. The chiefs have already headed to the moot, and Varshwak guards. I love your outfit, by the way. If you want to survive, you have to leave now. I don't want to fight you, but if you decide to go after the king, well, I am sworn to protect my beloved. Okay, but I, I need my friends. I expected you'd say that. Take this. It will open the cells in the dungeon below the keep. Just take your friends far from this place and let my beloved finish his mission to elevate our people. Okay, let me ask you something, though. My beloved believes that this is the only way to accomplish his dream. As his shield wife, I will support him. Just as I always have. Okay, was this his plan all along? No. He hoped that the chiefs would come to believe in his vision. To see the future he imagined, just as he did. He never wanted it to come to this. But a king must always do the right thing for his people. I mean, killing the chiefs, though. Really? Why would they do that? They'll see a king who fought the fanatical Varshrock, who tried desperately to save the chiefs against overwhelming odds. When the dust clears, they will love him and stand united beneath his banner for all the world to see. Okay, but why do they hate Basrog so much? My beloved doesn't hate Basrog. They were friends once, almost brothers. If anything, he's disappointed in the chief. But Basrog challenges the king. He needs to be removed from the field of battle before he has a chance to disrupt the plan. Okay, so that's why you put he, that's that's why you put everything on him. It worked, didn't it? The chiefs have gathered for the moot, and everything proceeds as planned. As long as you take Basrog with you when you leave, there won't be any reason for more bloodshed. He served his purpose, just like you. Okay. Good loyal wife. Find my way out of here. Hey guys. Shank. Shank. Okay, okay, okay. You guys are kidding, right? Like, there's so many of you, and you're literally not a challenge. I think there's a bunny you guys can catch right now, Pokey Catch. I have that too. Mine's better. Okay. Hey, hey, epic Loki rogue. We have to stop meeting like this. Maybe next time I could rescue you. What do you say? All right, guys, what this is gonna be my uh. Good night. Good night. Please. I'm about to run my last unit in here, the last battle, and then I'll be off to bed too. <laughs> So it's great seeing you guys, and thank you for such an amazing day. I, oh man, I'm so happy.
Bashrog is working with the Bashrog. You'd better not be pulling my tusk outsider. I've known Karag for a long time. We may disagree on certain issues, but he's always had the best interests of our people in mind. This makes no sense. He's using the mood as a trap, and he's going to eliminate the chiefs who oppose him. Then there isn't any time to waste. Give me the key and head for the throne room. There's a passage in there that will lead you directly to the meat. I'll get Eva Lee to safety and try to gather some additional help. Additional help? There are still some people here in the city that I can count on. Now do whatever you have to and get to the meat. If we run into any problems, find me outside the keep and we'll figure something out. All right, let's do it. Not interested. Oh, we've got a lot of people helping out this time. This is going to be a good one. All right, we've got three minutes left to place your units. You know, as a mage, I shouldn't be all short range. Have to. Whoa! Epic strawberry paladin. Did you come here? Her beloved spoke the news of his life. I'm sorry, Alfred. Oh, why? I mean, how many wives do they have? Things are. All the past. Ooh, epic candy corn sing. Ha <laughs> ha, they were warned. Okay, I assume there's not going to be a lot of books in here. Don't be scared. I'm out here and die. Hey, there's books next to you. I want to read those. Come here. Investigator Vale. Alright, I can read all these at another time. You're just all trash mobs, though, so we can wait on that. All right, this is the last battle. Let's pop over to Stream Raiders after I get outside. Did 
it'll be safer outside. One would hope. Hey, hey! All right, we've got 52 units placed. All right, let's go over to Stream Raiders and make this happen. <gasps> Look at everyone! All right, guys, um, let's throw some haste on you so I can get most of you. You guys can just rock it out. Not as many here, but there's so many of you. Come on, let's do this. Three, two, one, charge! Thank you! <laughs> oh. You're getting them. Only the soldiers left. Toy soldiers, get them. <sighs> Look at the epic kitty cat rolling the. <laughs> right on, right on, right on. Yes! Victory! It's a great way to end. Randomizing rewards. Remember, I always keep this bonus split so you guys can get as much as possible. So, granting rewards. Congratulations, everybody, for your scrolls. Alright, I am stopping here on this for now. And so we're not ending in the middle of a story. Let me check in with the chief real quick. I had a feeling I'd find you here. Kurog sealed the route to the moot, didn't he? Well, most of my contacts have gone deep into hiding, and we're no closer to saving the chiefs than we were when I scraped you up off the floor of the keep. I found this note. Let me see that. You can get to the moot through the temple. I had no idea that path even existed. But they sent soldiers after soldier, that's bad. We need a new plan, and we need it now. Any ideas? You go ahead to the temple and check on the High Priestess. Everly and I have one more place where we can look for some help. If we're successful, it might make the path to the moot slightly less complicated. Be careful. I'm well aware of that. I'm counting on the start of the moot to keep them distracted, but we won't take any unnecessary chances. We need Solda alive to tell her side of the story. Then we can get to the moot and save the chiefs. Okay, I'll try to make it quick. Done more for me and my people than I could have ever expected. I appreciate that. It shows you have honor. Now get to the temple and make sure the High Priestess is all right. We need her alive. Will do. Temple. Yes, yeah, trophy earned. Fanatics twice in the same season. It's insane. Rothgar Kurog adventure. Set this avalanche in motion. Now it's up to us to try and stop it. I'll do what I can. I know you will. I've seen you in action. I have a feeling that the fate of Rothgar depends on what we do next. Our actions, whether we succeed or fail, will determine the future of Orsinium and the Orc people. You think everything comes down to this? How could it not? The temple. The moot. Those are the fires that will test our metal. We'll either come out stronger or be consumed in the flames. Now go help Soldra. Okay, I'll go to the temple and help the high priestess. Thank you. Alright, everybody, thank you so much for coming in here. Um, I have a friend who also plays Elder Scrolls Online and Stream Raiders. I want to go ahead and send you over to her channel and say hi. If you guys don't know her, her name is Tierna. She has a really awesome vampire in her Stream Raiders, if you want to look at one of her skins in there. Um, that's, that's the one I absolutely like in there. Anyway, um... Yeah, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night or morning, whatever it is for you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!
Thank you for everything. Keep at it. 